Now everyone, I'm Dripping Fox, and welcome back to another live stream. We're going to pull out the wrenches again, head back to the shop, and do a little bit more work in uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Uh, I've been playing a little bit since the last time we streamed the game, because we were having some serious cash problems with a couple of the customer repairs I was trying to do. So uh, I've earned a little bit more cash, so we have a bit of a cushion there to work with. Uh, consequently, I've also leveled up a little bit, and we have access to some new places, like the uh, the uh, the barns that we can go to now. I have four of them I apparently can check out on the map. Uh, it, it, in, in, in 2018, you know, I actually used to just actually show the mark on the map, but now I guess like you, you pick it and it just selects one. Like So you don't really pick where you're going so much. It just gives you one randomly to the maps you've gotten so far. But uh, I thought we'd go and check out, uh, check out a wreck in a garage somewhere. We'll finish out that job that I didn't finish the other day because uh, I'm apparently a terrible mechanic and I have no, <laughs> no cash at the time. <laughs> Uh, and uh, just do some general work. Keep uh, adding to the uh, adding to the bank account and unlocking stuff. But welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. Or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, big thanks to everyone who's clicked on the join button to become a channel member and support the channel. We do appreciate it. And a special thanks to all of our top tier mistakes were made members that were highlighted at the start of the stream. For those of you who've been waiting for this game, it comes out tomorrow. Uh, that's uh, August 11th for anyone on PC and then August 12th for console. That's good time. I keep going through the wrong door. That's good time, so uh, not too much longer to wait, uh, fortunately enough. Good, good, good. Uh, wish Steam had creator codes. Going to pick this up tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be nice, but uh, yeah, it's just not something they offer, unfortunately. Hello, you're from Louisiana. Well, hello in Louisiana. No, you can't paint the engine block that I'm aware of, anyway. Um, you used to be able in... Uh, so when you have the paint bay, I think you could paint individual parts. If you take them to the paint bay once you have it, at least I think you could in 2018. Uh, I haven't tried it with this one, so I'm honestly not sure. Um, we may be able to paint the engine block. I don't know. I I, I, uh, I don't have a paint bay, so I can't really paint much of anything right now. This is the uh, <laughs> this is the wreck we left sitting out here that I didn't have the money to finish. Um, so this customer is finally going to get their car back today. Uh, we'll get all it all fixed up and see how it goes. It's available on PS4. I'm, I know it's coming out on PlayStation and Xbox. I'm not sure whether it's going to be. Uh, PS4 or PS5. I don't know how that works exactly with PlayStation. Uh, so unfortunately, I uh, I can't tell you. I don't know. Hello from Michigan. Hello in Michigan. More people from Louisiana. Uh, I'm going to put some music on here. As much as I hate the radio in this game. <laughs> better than uh, better than the dead silence. <laughs> how much does it cost? Uh, on PC, apparently it'll be $25. I, I believe it's an American... And then uh, there are DLCs they add to the game as well. Each DLC is like $5. At launch, there'll be two DC DLCs available. One for the Nissan and then one for electric cars. Uh, and it's just sort of got a selection of electric cars in it. Um, I think we did all the mechanical stuff in this. And it was just the body parts we had left to go. But I ran completely out of cash. But um, we need like everything for this car. I even cleaned out my inventory. Oh, actually, this is... <laughs> Okay, well, this is clean compared to what it could be, okay? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I'm a bad pack rat for parts in this game. Uh, let's get rid of everything that's... Uh... Oh, I got apparently have an extra pair of brake pads. Get rid of all the junk, though. Adrian Telford, thanks for clicking the join button. Welcome to Derpy Fox. Appreciate the support. Hello from Liverpool, United Kingdom. Ah, oh, must be late in Liverpool right now. What is it? Uh, is UK four hours ahead of East Eastern time right now, or is it five? Jason with a super chat. I have a bone to pick with you, Mr. Fox. I did the repairs like you showed in your last video. Now it just smokes like you drove it. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I believe, in my defense, I have made numerous claims that say, don't ever do what I do. <laughs> Especially not with a real car. <laughs> Wait, let me guess. You didn't put in the oil, right? Because you did exactly like I did. You didn't put the oil in. That's probably what it was. Is it five hours right now? I thought... Uh, I thought in British summertime they were four hours, but I could be wrong. 2 a.m. here in the UK. All right, so I guess it is five hours. All right. Uh, okay, so we need uh, we need a lot of parts. Uh, fortunately, this car, all the parts should show up. It's, this is the uh, the Ribson Starline. Man, this customer is going to be so overjoyed to get their car back. <laughs> They're going to be like, I thought for sure I'd never get it back. I thought you were keeping it. It's gonna cost a lot for all these body parts, but fortunately I had like almost 17,000 So now we've got uh, a decent amount. Wow, it took like, took like 8,000 almost 
to buy all the body parts. So no wonder I was running out of money all the time. <laughs> we, we had like less than 6,000, I think. It's 3 a.m. in Sweden, 2 a.m. in the UK. All right. 9 p.m. in Canada. Well, if you're in Eastern Canada, yeah, that's, that's where I am right now. I live in uh, Southern Ontario, so I'm, uh, I'm in Eastern time as well. Oh, oh, I also unlocked something else. Uh, so over here is the welder. Uh, that was like uh, 5,000, I think. Yeah, cost 5,000 to unlock the welder. Um, so I have that to fix the body and white on the cars now. And then over here, I unlocked the uh, the fourth tier of the... Uh, oh, I have eight skill points. Oh, my God. All right. Fifth tier of repairs now. Takes six points now to get this next one. So we need to level up a little bit. It seems like I'm getting more points each time I level up now instead of just a single point. Uh, I started dumping everything into the repairs category so I could try to repair stuff sooner rather than later. Um, let's get this uh, shipped over here. <laughs> Alright, I moved to, what was that, five feet or something? Alright, good job. Uh, this will fix the body for 500 credits. Ooh, look at it sparking and stuff. It used to just, oh, that's cool. In CMS 2018, it was just instant. You'd hit it and like the car would be fixed and away you went. Did you notice the links I gave you in the Discord for copyright free music to put on the radio station? You're not stuck with the music you okay? Uh, I did, but I'm always very cautious with with uh, copyright free music I haven't paid for the license to use because uh, creators have had problems before where they've used the music and then later had a claim uh, against them because the artist basically farmed out the music to a whole pile of creators and then just claimed it all. So I'm always a little careful. She got the cheaper parts toggle, uh, considering you fix people's cars so often. <laughs> well, I wanted to focus on getting to the point where we can actually repair things. So I started dumping all the points that I had into that, that specific uh, repair column so we could fix stuff. It seemed like the superior option. I'm also curious to go to the junkyard and see if we can uh, if we can repair random parts from the junkyard and actually turn a profit at it. It used to be that you could do that. I don't know if you can anymore, um, but I would like to find out. Maybe we'll take a trip out there. We'll buy some. We'll buy a bunch of stuff. It's got to be uh, like orange, uh, orange or, or uh, orange or lighter, I think. So like orange, yellow, or green, in order for us to repair it, I think. Oh, I need plates still. Um, so we can't just buy like anything and, and repair it all. But let's see what happens anyway. Okay. Uh, I think that's all of the body parts on there. Let's uh, just double check that. Place to repair body parts. We just need the license plates now. Only the front license plate? Where about the back license plate? Well, that's weird. It only calls for a front license plate. It doesn't call for the reared one. All right. I mean, it's gonna let me get away with it. I'll do it. <laughs> If it's like 2018, then it's 15% and above. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It very well might be. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, where's the common one? Okay. <laughs> I thought there was one that was just called common, or is it standard? There it is. Standard plate. We don't need to customize it or anything. Our plate is on. So theoretically, we've done everything. I bet you it still tells me I need to put the rear plate on, but... Okay. Finally. This customer's waited in... I don't know what it would be like in-game. <laughs> I think in-game would be like a week for their car. <laughs> they, I told them it would be like a couple hours, and I kept it for a week. Whoops. <laughs> Actually on time for a stream. Well, welcome. This is the first stream of his I watched. Well, welcome, Alexander. Get the magic brush from the long drive is as good as new. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Did you get anyone in the community killed yet? Uh, nope. I haven't killed anybody yet. We, we'll manage it at some point. Don't you worry. Now, let's see if I can actually turn this thing in. How much am I going to make off this car? Wow! 22,501. I mean, a lot of that is, re is like recovering the parts cost. Because <laughs> the body parts were pretty expensive for this thing, but. Finish order? Oh, shoot. Car's incomplete. There's a seat two leather A missing. Oh, my goodness. I needed leather seats? I wish there was more clear. Oh, boy. Uh, Well, this car just got more expensive, I think. This needs to go out front so I can get to the interior. 
Yeah, this is this is not good. Uh, these cloth seats that I have, I'm just gonna have to sell. Okay. Um, there we go. I need, to, I need to have it tell me what I'm missing again. C2 Leather A. C2 Leather A from the interior shop. C2 Leather A. We'll get two of these. And then we'll find out that we got the wrong steering wheel in here. Just wait. Was that the right seat? <laughs> Did I just put the wrong seat in again? I clicked a little too quickly. No, I did. C2 Leather A. Okay. Oh my god, I hope I hope that's finally it. <laughs> Live your videos, well thanks Alexander, I'm glad you enjoy them. Okay. Try again. 22,501. <laughs> it doesn't tell me I need it until I go to oh right. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, but I thought I would I would chance it and see when it, see if it would let me get away with it. Oops, let's stand. Ah! All about the misclicks tonight. Flying parts. At least it's not complaining about the type of steering wheel I have in it. That's a plus. There we go. Oh man, look at the money we got now. Thirty grand. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so we're not broke anymore. Uh, theoretically, we could get ourselves a junker, bring it in here, and fix it up now. Um, I want to go check out what the barns are like, but first let's take a trip over to the the, uh, the junkyard. I have 30958 I want to keep track of how much money I have. I don't wind up forgetting. Uh, so we're going to the junkyard. We're going to buy some random parts, bring them back, and fix them, and see if we end up with more money than we started with. Uh, just to see whether it's a, it is actually a way that we can earn cash. Buy a Zipper L series. Pink Salmon Flamo. <laughs> I'm not planning to buy an actual car in here just yet. Unless we see something awesome that's at a good price, but uh, I'm thinking just random parts for this uh, for the time being. Let's see what we can fix. Um, I'm assuming we can't fix things like tires and stuff. Uh, I can't fix body parts yet, so it has to specifically be mechanical parts. Uh, and some of these I know I can't fix things like mufflers and stuff. So it might be a bit, uh, a bit of a needle in a haystack to actually find something worthwhile. I have 30,458. Wheel up, I might be able to get. Axle, I might be able to fix. Amshaft caps, I can fix, but not at that percentage, I don't think. It's going, it's going all rust bros. <laughs> LED light bar, camshaft. No, this stuff's all too, uh, all too beat up. Customer states they brought the car in with an engine. Well, I it, I gave it back to them with an engine, I think. Fairly certain I did. Lost manifold. It seems like there's a, a little bit better cross-section of things you can actually fix in uh, CMS 2021 relative to 2018. It's also not worth buying trash stuff, fixing and selling it a little amount you make. It's just not worth it. Yeah, I'm just curious to see how much we make. Plus, plus we can find barn things out here, too. So I just found another barn location. Um, but I thought it'd be worth just seeing what the difference is in money. So, I'm going to... Because I, I have a terrible memory. I'm going to just take a quick picture of my money so I remember what I had. Oh. Uh, take manifold. I might go through that. You're right, though. It is probably a pretty minuscule amount. I'm just curious. Water pump. That, actually, the water pump was at 15%. I'll see if we can even fix that thing. Hey, Zahil, how are you doing? Take manifold. Uh, never noticed it fixing any of the gears, so I'm not going to take that. You fix up junk parts and you can turn around and use them in cars instead of buying something else new, yes? Uh, that is true, yeah. So if, if you get some more generic stuff that you can actually um, utilize, then, then for sure. So one car intake manifold. Yeah, so like you could grab parts this way fix them up, 
put them in your warehouse storage thing. Uh, if you have that unlocked, I don't. So it would be in my inventory, which would be kind of a pain. And then when it comes time to actually use them, you could use them to fix up other cars, yeah. Um, and that might prove to be more, uh, more profitable. Oh, what's this? Kitagiri Katsumoto. 300 credits. It's pretty beat up. I'm not gonna buy the. I'm not buying. I'm gonna resist the urge to buy cars in the junkyard today. <laughs> I wanna. I do wanna get some from here, but I wanna. I wanna try and save some money and do some barn hunting. Uh, can you fix a carburetor? I guess we're gonna find out. Should be able to. On the Civic. Is that what the Kitsugari Matsumoto thing is? Is that a on the Civic? I don't know if I can fix rims or not. I'm reluctant to buy it until I know I can do it. This game broke for PS4. No, it comes out on console on uh, on August 12th, so day after tomorrow. I'm not certain if it's. You know what? Let me just double check. Um, I might even be able to tell here uh, if I go into the store. Um, hold on a second. Let's see if I can find the web page for the for the game, if they have one. They might only have the Steam page though. That might be the trouble. Let's see. No, actually, if we go into a store page here, I know it's coming out on Xbox and and PlayStation on the twelfth. I just don't know for certain if it's going to be PS4 or PS5 that it's playable on. Um. Oops. Normally, there's like the they they'll have like their website link here somewhere. Check on Playway, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's not readily apparent. So I'm not sure. You might have to just check in the store. Both on it's on on console. So it's uh, is PlayStation Four and PlayStation Five like is it backwards compatible kind of thing? If it's out on PS4, is it something that can be played on the PS5, or are they, is there actually a generational gap there? Comes in 11 hours, but that's for me in Australia. Yeah, so it's PC. It's a, it comes out tomorrow, August 11th, and then uh, console on the 12th. I just don't know. Uh, I don't know for certain about how the uh, compatibility works with PlayStation. No, it's not a free game, so it'll be uh, like $25. I think is the, uh, the US amount. 25 bucks, and then each of the DLCs for it is uh, $5. So there's two DLCs available at launch. The, uh, the Nissan DLC and an electric car DLC. And if you get it on console, the electric car DLC is included in the price, and I think it's $30 on console. Fairly soon that's how it works. You can play it on PS4 and PS5. Oh, good. Okay. And yeah, I didn't know whether it was uh, if PS, uh, the PlayStation handled the compatibility the same way that Xbox does. All right, we have a few things now. Uh, 30458 Uh Let's go back to the garage. Some of the stuff here is only 15%, so hopefully I can still fix those. See what happens. So I'm spending 488 credits. So we'll buy those parts. PlayStation 4 is delayed by a week, though. Is it? I, I really have no idea. I just I know, All I know is that the console version was supposed to come out on the 12th. See the price, I'm probably interested. Probably around fifty dollars Canadian. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, our exchange rate in Canada doesn't make for uh, the best pricing, but it's not. Uh, I mean, typically, it's not bad. Okay, so we have. Uh, all right. Well, never mind. I'll, uh, I'll see what I end up with as a total when we're all done. It does cost a little bit to repair stuff this way. So that was a hundred and six. So yeah, this might actually eat pretty heavy into the profit. Let's see what happens. Gotta make sure I don't mess with the minigame. <laughs> Actually, now that this is a minigame, this might not be worth it just from the time perspective. Even if it does, like, turn out to be profitable, it, it might not be worth it for the time. Used to be you could just click 
click rapidly a whole bunch of times and all your stuff would be fixed, but now you gotta actually uh, pay a little more attention. Does 2021 have the RX-7? Uh, no. So, the, uh, there's something like 72 games that's, or sorry, uh, 72 cars that start out in 2021. Um, they're all generically named cars, so you, you don't have, like, real brands in the, in the core grouping of cars. And then each of the DLCs that they offer will be focused typically on... Uh, on a particular brand, and then you'll see the cars that will show up in there. So there was a um, there was a Mazda uh, DLC in uh, the 2018 version of the game that added stuff like the RX-7. Oh shoot, I failed. Ah, oh, I broke it too. All right, well that's gonna ruin my experiment for experiment for uh, cash flow prof profitability there anyway. Starting misclick. It'd be funny if, if that one piece I broke was like the amount that it would have been profitable. <laughs> Oop. Bag it. Ah, I failed. Shoot. Okay, I broke two pieces. That sucks. Uh, all right. So we're now down to we're now down to two, twenty-eight thousand nine hundred eight. Uh, oh, we got a crate. Oh shoot, I've got a couple of seats here. Okay, so we got to sell just the stuff that I, I, I will leave the seats and things. If I sell everything now, let's see what we actually get up to. I did buy the map, and that costs a little bit too, I think, but. $30,513. So that was, that was minuscule profit because I broke two things. So I had uh, 30,458. So for all that effort, I made 60 bucks. <laughs> that wasn't really worth it. Um, it brought, it would have been more if we hadn't broken two things. I would have made probably a couple hundred dollars, but it still, uh, it still just wasn't worth it. For the time and effort that it takes, I, I don't think it's worth it. You don't get any experience for repairing the parts, but I had to know, I was curious. <laughs> Now again, if you if you um, took generic parts that you could then use later to fix other cars, then it would probably be worth it because you'd save money on the purchase price of the new part. Um, but not worth it just to fix them and resell them. From what I can see, another another barn location. 363 XP. Ooh, nice. That was a good boost. Holy. Except these. Uh, that gets a total of six barn locations now. Can you get this game on Xbox One? It's coming out uh, on the 12th. So, a lot on the 11th on PC, on the 12th on console. I feel like I'm going to be saying that all night tonight because it's uh, the game comes out tomorrow, so I think it's gotten a little bit more attention. Uh, okay, let's take a look and see what we can find out in the barn now. So, we have um, six of the barn locations. We can only go through them like one at a time, but that's fine. And uh, see if we can find anything that's uh, going to be a decent enough price that we want to buy it, and then we can bring it back and fix it up and sell it and see how much money we can put in our pocket. Broke two parts, spent 94 on the map, and still made a tiny bit of profit. Yeah, so like, you could make money at it, it's just... I just don't know that it's... It's gonna make enough money to make it worth the effort to do it. And welcome to the new barn locations. Uh, I think there's actually... Yeah, we can get junk off the individual benches and stuff here, too. More things we can fix. Gearbox I can fix. Have that case. Camshaft, that's good. Snag parts and stuff. I mean, why not? Still can't fix body parts yet, so we won't bother taking any of those, but uh, other things might be worth it. Engine head cover. Ooh, that looks like a bolt relay over there. There's another gearbox. Valve push rod I'm pretty sure I can't fix, but the drive axle I should be able to. This has got to be the bolt relay. Nope, Chieftain Bandit. Aha, the Firebird. <laughs> the off-brand Firebird. The other other bird. Uh, I don't know if I can fix the ignition distributor. Camshaft I can fix, and I can fix the intake manifold. And we'll try to see if I can fix it. Use the money to upgrade to unlock new stuff. Uh, there are some things you can up upgrade to. Yep, I have a couple of, th of the things I can snag. Um, 
I think I only have a couple things left to unlock that way. Well, actually, I could do more garage expansion, but I, I want to uh, I want to have a good cushion of money because we we kind of ran into some cash problems last time. I overspent on the expansion, and then I didn't leave enough money behind to to do customer jobs, and things get a little dicey. <laughs> Uh, I didn't check how much the firebird was. I'll check it in a second. Have that engine cover. Oop. You know, the, the thing is, like, if I buy parts and fix them and put them in the in storage with the intent to use them later... It's a V12, holy. Um, my only concern is that I'm going to forget that they're there, because I have a memory like a sieve. Oh, it's El Camino! The Bolt Atlanta, otherwise known as the El Camino. This is... Wow! Barn finds are still expensive. 19744 That would be tough to make a profit on, I think. Oh, it's, there's too much of this thing that's in good shape. That's the trouble there. I think that was one of the primary catches with... Uh, with the barn finds in 2018. was that they, they always seem to be maybe a little bit more pricey than they should be. Like, uh, like people who had them just hiding out in their barn overvalued them or something. That is pricey. <laughs> That's a lot for something you're going to have to fix. Now, granted, this is really dirty. So it could be that when we wash it off, it ends up looking better. Got a lot of dirt on it. How complete is the engine? Oh, man, look at this engine. Inspect this thing, see what kind of condition it's all in. I mean, there's gonna be probably a lot in here that needs replacing. I oh, yeah, look at all the red parts. Oh, so basically speaking, anything that's red when you take it off, you're gonna to have to you're gonna to have to buy a replacement. If it's like orange or yellow, you can typically fix them. So it's a, yeah, it's the knockoff El Camino. Do it. I'd only have ten thousand cash left. That's not even enough to replace body parts if I need to. I don't know. Not sold on that one. Let's go check out the Chieftain, maybe. Or actually, what was this one in here? What is this? Is this a Skyline? <laughs> the Rips in Start Line. That's the one we just... Uh, wow, 31,000. No thank you. Too luxury for my blood. I need something really beat up. That's what I'm looking for. Because it'll be cheaper then. 27,000. Just did this car before he finished off. Nice. Yeah, this is too much money. I've only got like 30 grand, so I can't be uh, can't be spending that. Okay, let's um, let's get out of this barn. We can always go to another one. Turn to garage. 1,200 credits worth of parts. Uh, well, the cases are 200, huh? That's interesting. 355 for the gearbox. I don't even know what the gear the gearbox is going to go for new. All right, we'll do it anyway. 1244. Does I get a discount? It's funny how the discount even applies to these. Someone buy a Starline for 20k and turn it around and sold it for 100k, so you can really flip the uh, car in this. Oh, really? Sweet. Okay, so maybe I'm thinking that the the resale price on the car when it's finished is gonna be lower than it actually is. I'm saying just do it, but I can't just do it. Um. All right, let's fix up the parts that we bought. See if we can make a profit through this way instead of through the junkyard. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I spent 200 on that crate, so that's uh, oops, um, that's gonna cut into our profits quite a bit. But we might even get a cash bonus inside the crate, so it might even be a boat, Lois. You know how much we wanted a boat. A boat's just a boat. But the box could be anything. It could even be a boat. Play two and you're making the same game. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the uh, yeah, the mini game is a bit. Uh, it's gonna get tedious over time. <laughs> it's kind of it's novel. It adds a little element of skill to it, so that it used to be that when the parts would break while you're repairing them, it, it was it was basically just a random break. So now you have at least some some degree of control over whether the part breaks or not. So I guess that to that end of things, it's uh, it's all right. Uh, let's open up the crate. 
Pontiac Trans Am. Nice. <laughs> a bonus case. And 329 credits. So that case was well worth it. We made 129 credits on that case. And got another case. It's, it's, this is like loot box magic over here. It's good to be done to pick cash for that. Barn map location and another case. Like those items. How many cases can we keep opening in the case? 24 XP and another case. <laughs> Come on. Another case. Oh my god. 635 credits. Okay, this case was well worth the price to purchase. <laughs> What's in the box? Another box? <laughs> Farm application and. Oh, scrap that time. Well, we made good profit off of that anyway. Uh, I don't even have a frame of reference now because. Oh, I couldn't fix the distributor. That's interesting. Okay. Um. Let's just sell all this. Everything below 100. Sell parts. So we're at 29,062. Now we're at uh, 31,793. So it didn't really make a whole lot of profit there considering I made like a thousand off the cases. <laughs> Still worth it. Cases, a cases, a cases, a cases, a case. Yeah. So many boxes in there. It was like Russian dolls. It's like those, uh, what are they called? Are those Matryoshka dolls? Is that what they're called? Or the Russian stacking dolls? I think I made 2700 Was that net of, uh, net of the, the cash we made from the boxes, though? So let's see what we got here cars-wise first before I start going through stacks of things. The Bolt Chapman. 13782 That might be worth grabbing. I would definitely have enough money to fix that in its entirety. The only thing I can't do is paint it, because I don't have the paint shop unlocked. I should... Let's see if I can afford that. But I think, if I recall correctly, the paint shop is expensive. Ooh, what is this? Edgewood Hellcat. Oh, baby. Please don't be expensive. Please don't be expensive. 19,000. That might be doable. I think I might want that. That's sweet. Okay. Um, what do got over here? Still can't paint it, though, unfortunately. We'll get it all fixed up. It'll be like a little rough, rough paint job, but... Another Hellcat? Bolt Supernova. This one is 15,000. Need to hold out for level 15 in the auction. Yeah, but the auction is kind of like going to the junkyard, except you you have the ability to sort of... Uh, like you can Because you can pick the car you want to bid on, you can control the price a little bit more. Don't buy F-Mill, not worth it. What's F-Mill? <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> get the Hellcat. Yeah, I think I'm going to get the Hellcat. We'll fix it up and flip it. See if we can make a profit at it. Uh, I should actually look and see if we can find another one of the boxes here, too. I'm not going to get... I won't get parts this time. We'll just look for look for a box. Because that was... Uh, that was well worth the price that we paid for the last one. Examine all the cars for XP. Oh, we could do that, too, I guess. I mean, I'm not super worried about it, but yeah, we could, like... Yeah, you get 1 XP, the same as you would if you had them actually in the shop. Get the cars to see which one's a better buy. Well, it's really hard to tell, because I don't know what it's going to resell for. Or even how the reselling works, actually. Now that I think about it, I don't even know how to sell them. <laughs> I think, uh... I, th I don't know, I might be able to just do it in the, uh... So, um, I can't, I can't even look in here, but there's a, like the order page thing. I think you can look in there, maybe. Get that Croatian Chevy Nova. <laughs> is that what the Supernova is? That is, is that just a Chevy Nova? This one's really rough. We're making the Hellcat now, nice. The Troishka equals Russian Nessie Nose. Yeah, okay, I thought that's what it was. Lots repairable. Yeah, there are a few things here that are fixable. That That is promising. I mean, it's really hard to tell sometimes how much stuff is missing. But most of the mechanical parts aren't really that expensive, I've noticed. It, it, it's really like, if you get into the gearbox, it's expensive. Or if you're replacing the block or something. 
Um, some of the electronic parts are a little more expensive, but then generally speaking, it's the body components that are more expensive. And it looks like the body is pretty much complete here. Although it does need fixing, we would uh, we'd have to put it in the garage until it was high enough level to be able to fix it. Hmm. I don't know, Chevy Nova or the uh, the Hellcat over here. What is the Hellcat? Is this uh? Um. Shoot, what's that? What's that car they drive in uh, in Supernatural? <laughs> My brain won't work. Oh my god, it's a knockoff Nova. It was, yeah. <laughs> and this is the Hellcat. Oh, look at that engine. How much was this one again? 19,000. Condition bonus zero, performance parts. Oh, yeah, okay. So, oh, yeah, we can put performance parts in it too and make uh, even more money. The Hellcat's missing a wheel, is it? Yeah, it's got one. Yeah, just one missing. Oh, the Impala, yeah, thank you. Is this is this the the uh, the generic version of the Impala here? <laughs> Holds a meal four four two. Is that what this is supposed to be? I'm not a supercar guy, so I don't know these things off the top of my head. <laughs> they do have a four door. Uh, no, it's a they don't have a two door because they are always letting people in the back. <laughs> I think. No, oh, it's missing the missing the driver's seat too. I don't know. Still might be worth it. Paula has a longer end in length. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is a 442. Okay. Still, it's pretty sweet looking. Oh, look, the fuse box is uh, just on the top of it, too. I don't know if... I don't know that 11,000 is going to be enough to fix this thing. You know what? I could fix it up except for the body, maybe. Uh, uh mm, I'm indecisive. You know what? Uh, I really want the Hellcat, but I, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the buffer and money. I'm gonna go for the uh, the Nova. Because what I'm gonna have to do is fix it and stick it in the garage until we can do parts repair for the body parts on it. At least this one it's only fifteen thousand, so I got like a you know an extra four thousand dollars for the buffer. Yeah, the Nova is less less money. Oh, you gotta look for the case. Yeah. No point fixing if you can uh, if you can't get it to 100% for the condition bonus. Well, that's what I'm thinking is like I fix it up, put it in the garage until we're ready. There we go. Until we're ready to uh, ready to do the repairs on the body, and then we sell it afterwards. I mean, depending on how much it sells for, it might even be worth just buying the. Oh, I'm trying to get good shape. Are the cards more complete. Yeah, but it's only like one wheel. Like that's not that's not a four thousand dollar wheel right there. Oh, I already looked there. Maps are only found in the junkyard. Boxes are only found in barns. Are you sure? I was I could have sworn I found a map already, but I found a map in the box in the barn. So. Sort of it was here. <laughs> Indirectly speaking. Alright, I'm gonna get this thing. Why not? Why not? Should get 45% done once engine's done. Alright. Well, um, let's buy this one. Oh, wait, this is the Hellcat. Shoot. No, I want the Nova. I'm gonna get the Nova. We'll fix the Nova up and see how this goes. I wish you could haggle. Sure you want to buy this Bolt Supernova for 15742 I do. Let's send this to the garage. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> Turn to the garage. We'll just get the case here. We won't bother with any, other, any of the other parts right now. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Hidden treasure. How much does the game cost when it releases tomorrow? On PC, it should be $25, and then the DLCs are $5 each. If you get it on console, apparently the one DLC is included, so you get a purchase price of like 30 bucks. But that price may vary slightly depending on. Uh... Ah, wrong door again. Um, depending on what country you're in. Uh, 
I bet you this is this car is in better shape than it looks, and it's just really dirty. Let's get this out of the car wash. Hey, Andy, how you doing? All right, wash the outside of it. Oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> That's the thing with barn finds is they're in a lot better shape, generally speaking. That's why you pay more for them. But you give me a real good pick of all the in-game cars. I'll make a pick with all the real names beside them. I'm sure there, there might even already be a list out there. This looks awesome already. Oh, even the interior looks like it's in decent shape. Oh my god, I love that paint job. The door's a little off-colored, but... I don't know what's with that door. <laughs> it's got a different tint to it. Actually, so does that fender. Eh, yeah, whatever. It's fine. I found a shiny. Let's see what it looks like. Does it give me an option to sell this thing in here? I could sell it for 20000 right now, just after washing it, and make a profit of 4300 bucks. <laughs> it does look amazing. I can make $4,300 right now just by washing the car, which costs no money. <laughs> uh, what DLCs come out on release? Um, the Nissan DLC is coming out, and there's an electric car DLC that has a selection of electric cars in it. Yeah, <laughs> that'll buff out. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's send this into the shop. I won't bother pulling the uh, pulling all the body off this thing because I can't repair it anyway. Uh, but let's see what condition stuff is in here. Uh, mechanical stuff is rough, but that's to be expected. The body part conditions are actually quite good. All things considered. I mean, some of it's a little bit rougher than others, but if I swap them out, I can't paint them, so it's not worth it anyway. Lots of mechanical stuff we don't know. Still, the body's in decent shape, and it looks fantastic. Sweet. Hey, Aiden, how you doing? Yeah, 4K car wash. It might have given us 4K even without washing it, in fairness. Uh, let's get the oil out of this thing first, I guess. Let's say fix some parts, then check what you can sell it for just to see how much profit you'll make through the, the rebuild. Yeah. Well, there's a, there is... Um, when you finish the car completely and get it 100% across the board, you get a really nice boost in your sale price. Uh, and so that'll be a big thing as we go forward doing the cars and stuff, right? Uh, uh, did I get the engine lift? I don't know that I did. Nope. 2,000 for that. Uh, um... Yeah, we'll have enough. It's only mechanical parts I'm doing. Let's buy that. Bing! Where does that show up now? Oh, it's over there. Oh my god, it's hiding behind the bus. Okay, we can pull the engine out with that, though. Actually, where is the... Where's the engine mount? Oh, it's over here. Oh, a little more walking involved than you do that now. All right, that's fine. It's fine. Let's move this over. Do my scans first. Yeah, we're gonna do everything first. Don't worry. I'm just I'm just taking the oil out to start. We'll get our. Uh... Yeah. Oh man, there was like almost no oil in that thing. <laughs> we'll get all our uh, all our XP points out of this. Before we do too much. Oh, oh no, you're right. I can't. Oh, the, some of the scans required to run. I forgot you need a will to do a couple of them. Oh, well. We can do this one. No, I can't. There's no ABD port on this thing. That requires. <laughs> actually, it, it wouldn't work anyway because the, the engine needs to be. No, actually, it might have worked. No, it says engine needs to be complete. So I couldn't have done that scan anyway. So the oil wouldn't have mattered. The engine's not complete. There's parts missing. Hope they make a Chevy DLC in this one. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what they'll have for the DLCs. There were quite a few of them for 2018. The thing is, like, the core game really wasn't very expensive. But by the time you add on all the DLCs, it does add up over time. Uh, but since you're not buying them all at once and you kind of get them progressively, it's not really that bad. I want Car Mechanic Sim 21 on PS4 to come out soon. As I've said, the 16th of this month, PS4, all others 
uh, are out now for me because of the 11th. Well, only the PC one comes out on the 11th. Console is on the 12th, then I guess maybe PS4 is slightly delayed. I don't know. I got the points to unlock to fix the body first. <gasps> yes! Oh my god. Yeah! Oh, sweet. How's that for timing? Okay, we can fully restore this puppy. As long as I have enough cash. <laughs> the cash is going to be... Going to be the thing again. Um... There's no radiator in this thing, so I don't have to draw the fluids out of that. Uh, boy. <laughs> our brake servo is missing, our power steering reservoir is missing, so yeah, we got I mean, a few things we're gonna have to buy, but hopefully we can f fix a few things. I don't remember how much I have to disconnect before I can take the engine out. Both the engine, yeah, okay, we gotta get the gearbox out. I figured. <laughs> We'll start first by whip, ripping off all the wheels and the, uh, get rid of everything underneath here that we can get rid of. Put some passenger gear in here. Yeah, the co I actually really like the color. Yeah. If I can fix the fix the body parts, that's great because uh, I don't want to have to replace them or it'll change the color. And I don't have a paint bay yet, so that'll be a big thing. I'm not even gonna bother with a shopping list. Did I sell? Okay, good. Uh, actually, let's get this taken care of. I'm like a squirrel. Yeah, <laughs> my mind is going all over the place with excitement. <laughs> oh, another case. Scrap. We buy an electric car and fix uh, all batteries and the parts. Buy an electric car and fix. Um, well, I'm. Yeah, I mean, not. Ooh, 730 credits. Nice. And 335 XP. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, alright. Let's just rip it all out. I got my inventory clear now. Man, I haven't done like a full car teardown in this game yet. And it's been a long time since we did it in 2018, also. It's been a while. See how much cash we can get out of this thing. Hey, Still Snow, how you doing? Fuck it, PS4 get the game? They will get the game. It's just, uh, it's not out yet. The, uh, the publisher of the game was kind enough to provide me with a code to play this on PC a little bit early, so I've been playing it for a few days now. Uh, but the game comes out on console on the 12th, and it sounds like on the PS4 it's supposed to be like the 16th or something. Uh, don't quote me on that though, because someone else just said that was the case. What do you use the blue points for next year? I don't know yet. Apparently it's for like upgrading parts or something. Um, I didn't unlock the thing that lets us do that though yet, so I, I need to figure that out just yet. But those, that's scrap there. I guess you can take parts and scrap them and you get scrap. And then apparently you can use scrap to upgrade parts or something. I don't know. Is there an update to fix the blinding bumper yet? There were, I did notice there were two patches today, but I don't know what they fixed. Oh, well, it might be for tuning, maybe. I mean, I won't really do a lot of tuning anyway because I don't know what I'm doing. Unless I can tune the car so that it has really good lift, so when I like, take it over a jump on the racetrack, I can get it to fly over the wall, then, uh, and I probably am not going to be super into that. <laughs> I don't like the game, I just play them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you have the front completely, then repair it and put it back, then you're... Yeah, I, I usually, uh, what I end up doing most of the time in this game is I, uh, I, I rip it all apart, and then I go and I, uh, fix everything I can fix, I slap it all back together again, and then usually I would paint it and stuff, but... I gotta see how much cash I have. So we've got 14,000, but I don't know what it's gonna cost to do all this. Did I see the motorcycle mechanic simulator? I did. Um, I feel like they sent me a demo for that at one point, and I didn't get a chance to play it. Um, there are a lot of simulator games out there, and Playway in particular, who's the, the publisher for this game, um, they seem to represent the devs that make, like, a bajillion of the of the simulation games. So every now and then I'll get something in my 
in my inbox from them with stuff. And they've had all kinds of, like, wacky sims. Actually, yeah, there was, uh, another one of their sims. I think, um, yeah, Cooking Simulator VR is another one I want to try of theirs. Like the card DLC sounds like a ripoff. Will it be as in-depth as the main game? Yeah, it will. For sure. I mean, you're not going to have the same kind of engine reconstruction, though, because they, they don't have engines. They just have electric motors instead. So I, I don't know how the electric motors will work, but um, I don't know. I guess it's a fair question. Uh, I don't really need to rip stuff off the engine so much. Do that when we haul it out. No, there's no price in what release. What's that? So I loaded them the motorcycle things out. Yeah, so I've had like, uh, oh, let's see, what sims have I got? I mean, I've got Cooking Simulator, I've got um, uh, Airplane Mechanic Simulator, Tank Mechanic Simulator, there's a Mech Mechanic Simulator, the various Car Mechanic Simulators, um, the Motorcycle Simulator, or Mechanic Simulator, rather. Um, I don't even know. It's just, there's been so many. <laughs> it's the same you play it on the Xbox and you have it the PS4. I actually enjoy that game. It's fun. As far as simulators go, I think it's actually it's uh, pretty well done. Some of those simulators are kind of rough. That was good. I only played it a little bit, though. The hard part with I find with doing YouTube is I'm just I'm constantly jumping from game to game. I never really get super deep into a game unless there's a deep level of interest in it. So, like... Uh, I played quite a bit of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 because so many people were interested in doing more of it. But a lot of games, you'll get like, people will watch like the first video of it maybe, or, you know, maybe like a couple videos. And then after that, it's they're like, eh, I'm not really into that. And then the interest just completely dies off. Hobo Sim is fire. <laughs> Is that me or is the music loud? I don't know. It, I can barely hear it myself. Although I had my headset maybe turned down. I'll try to uh, I'll keep an ear up for it and see if I can do it. Oh yeah, I think I had my headset turned down. <laughs> Is that because of YouTube or ADHD? <laughs> a little from column A, a little from column B. I mean, the... Um, there are so many games that come out now that it, it, to a little bit, it is a bit of ADHD. Like, there's just this constant desire to play the next thing. Um, but certainly a component of it is YouTube. Um, alright, hold on a second. I'm gonna tweak the, uh, tweak the audio settings for the music a bit. I've only got it at 10%. Can't really get a whole lot quieter than that. What if they put an Aerostar DLC in there? <laughs> yeah, I just I turned it down double helix, but I, I can't I can't really tweak it lower than that. Um, hold on, actually the um uh the sound effects in the game are pretty pretty loud, so I can lower the lower the audio in uh, OBS a little bit and see if that helps. You can hear me, what? <laughs> it's much better? Okay, good, thanks. I can't always hear what you guys are hearing on uh, on the stream, unfortunately. What I can hear in my headset isn't always a good representation. Okay. I think we have it largely ripped apart now. <laughs> I think we can get the engine out. I wonder if it'll make me take that exhaust manifold off. Or is it the intake manifold? Whatever it is. Chain Ramsey, welcome to Derpy Fox. Thanks for clicking on the join button. Appreciate the support. Oh, <laughs> the car's too high. How about that? Who knew? <laughs> 
All right, get that in. Did I not remove the gearbox? Oh my god. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> I knew I had to take it off. I, for some reason, I thought I had pulled it off already. <laughs> IR smart. SMRT. Maybe it's not your end, it could be their end. No, probably not. You, usually, um, for that, for things like audio, YouTube is just taking what gets transmitted to them and replaying it. So if it's, if the balance is off, it really could just be that the, um, the game audio is really high. And actually it does, I still see the audio bars bouncing pretty high when I pull parts off. Turn it down a little bit more. Sorry. This is one of those chill games where I, I do a lot, I, I think I do more talking than I do in normal games. Yeah, I haven't gotten bankrupt yet. Only because I did some work uh, in between the last stream and this one to earn some cash. <laughs> That's pretty much the only reason. Love to see an Australian Classics DLC for this game. What would you want to see in that specifically? I might have to take that off. Exhaust and pull out of here. This uh, this engine's in rough shape, man. You know we're taking this for a spin after we fix it too. We can't just sell it outright. We gotta we gotta drive it first. What the? Oh, <laughs> that's what it's telling me. You'll cheat and do sandbox mode all the time? Oh sure, yeah. It's nice that they include that so the people who want to do that can go ahead and do it. I like the idea of playing through the game. I like building up the money and having to unlock stuff and things. Okay. She's clean. Oh, I gotta get the, uh, the fuse box out. Uh, the, oh, these, yeah, the fuses are toast. Yoink. I gotta pull out every fuse one at a time. I guess that makes sense. Those are just there for looks. Okay, now it's cleared. Uh, don't worry about the interior and stuff just yet. Okay, what can we fix? <laughs> we ripped we ripped a lot off this car. The re fixing things is gonna take a bit. <laughs> it's gonna be all all mini game all the time. <laughs> Front of this car is actually fairly similar to the old Ford Falcon. Is it? Some of the people that, uh, that like to watch the game are uh, really big into cars and they know like, you know, that's a 68 versus 69 because of these things and that, that is 100% not me. <laughs> I uh, I like cars, but I am not like a car aficionado. Nor am I a mechanic. So if you ever get the opportunity, don't bring your car to my shop. Especially if you want to have it... What car do I drive IRL? Elantra. Nothing fancy. Needed something that had plenty of room for the kids and was economical fuel-wise. Does somebody to the channel get rid of ads? No, I'm sorry. Ads is a YouTube thing. Um, you actually have to pay for the YouTube premium to get rid of ads on YouTube. Subscribing to the channel just uh, shows that you're interested in the content and you'll get notifications and things when I go live or when I upload videos. If you turn on notifications, I guess. Um, or And you'll also see the videos pop up in your, your sub subscription list in uh, in YouTube when you're looking in the app or on the um, on the PC. But uh, no, it's, unfortunately it doesn't, it doesn't alter the ads in any way. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of watching ads on YouTube either, so I just paid for the premium. Now I never know what's going on because I don't watch TV and I'm not getting any ads on YouTube anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the 
video dropped just for a second or two? Did it? I mean, my feed looks okay. It might have been on YouTube then. Stream quality is down for you. Yeah, if, if the stream quality drops, try checking... Uh, hold on a second here. I'm going to double check that it doesn't look blurry on my end. Um, just try checking the settings. Sometimes YouTube will automatically change the quality setting on a stream. If it was set on auto, they'll adjust it based on little fluctuations. Um, and you can manually set it to a different resolution. Getting stutter. I don't see that. I had to click live to come back to live. Uh, YouTube lagged. Oh. Good times. It's getting everybody. <laughs> That's why like 50 people just left. I love when YouTube hiccups. It's the best. <laughs> Literally like 50 people disappeared. <laughs> and again, maybe they just don't like the repair minigame. <clears throat> Excuse me, the repair minigame. God, this is gonna take forever. I mean, it's just slow and lagging, but it says I'm gonna be my potato Wi-Fi right now. Yeah, I mean, a few people have called it out, so it's probably not just you. It might be on YouTube's end. From what I can see, all my bitrate and everything's fine. My internet flow is fine. I'm not getting any notices from YouTube about not getting the the right rate of content. So it must be on their side. VHS mode. <laughs> Maybe it's Betamax. <laughs> Why don't you play this makes me want this, or watching you play this makes me want to play this game more. Yeah, I find that, I, I, I run into that a lot when I'm watching people play games. I was watching, uh, I was watching Dre play Viscera Clean Up the Tail the other day, and I was like, I was like, I, I, I weirdly really want to play that. <laughs> oh god, we're almost done. Oh, I can even fix the fuse box? How does that work? It's made out of plastic. That's weird. That newfangled plastic. Welcome to aluminum plastic. Okay, so that's done. Uh, we should be able to lade some brake parts here, actually. Oh. I really only have one? The other one must have been really shot. Yeah, repairing does cost money. Yep. It's not a lot of money. But it does cost. I think the most I've seen for any individual repair was like a hundred and some odd credits. This is how I feel about the Power Wash Simulator game. Oh my god, yeah. I have Power Wash Simulator. I streamed it the one day. And then, uh, I think it was yesterday, I spent two hours recording the... Uh, why is my engine not on the stand? Um, I spent two hours recording the um, uh, the park cleanup. And when I was all finished, I went back and I checked the video recording of it. And the video freaked out at like 30 minutes in. And for like the, the, the latter hour and a half of the recording, it was just the same two video frames flipping back and forth for the entire hour and a half. I was so upset. <laughs> uh... Okay, I haven't pulled any body parts off yet, so let's get... I guess we'll start ripping this down. Strip that engine. We'll see what we can fix of these. I think it's going to cost us a pretty penny in mechanical parts. I have a feeling there's going to be a bunch of stuff we didn't fix. Yeah, the fuel filter looks alright. It's not brand new, but it's uh, it's not not all messed up like the other store parts are. Oh, it was you know, and because it's um, I was playing the career mode also, so it's not like I could redo it. <laughs> I might have to like go into like sandbox mode to redo it or something. But two hours of recording just completely shot, and then I, I so I was I was all upset about that, and then I saw Dre tweet today about how he recorded for five and a half hours, and then found out that his mic was muted the entire time. And so he has like five and a half hours of recording content that's completely useless. 
I was like, okay, I don't I don't feel as bad now about my two. <laughs> Loved 18, I had multiple engines I built and was working on it to put Yeah, 18 was great. 2021, so far, the, the, the small quality of life adjustments they've made to the game. I really like. In, in particular, buying things in the shop is so much nicer. Uh, I'm curious to see how the um, the Steam community will step up to produce uh, produce car mods and stuff again, because there were some fantastic car mods that people had done um, for CMS 18. Hopefully we'll see that similar kind of support for 2021. And then what kind of, like, what kind of DLC content they'll have, too, for the actual branded cars. I like streaming this game because it's just so relaxed, you know, like... I, sometimes I play games that are a little bit more, uh, a little bit more stressful or... You know, I poop myself because some rabid dog jumped out of nowhere and started to eat my face. <laughs> but this is, uh... This is a chill game I can just like hang out and chat with people while I rip a car apart. Then go crash it. Remarkably doing no damage. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this. Yeah, mods are great. Yeah, they did such a good job on them. And the, there were so many of them too that realistically you could have bought the base game and just spent all your time doing mods that people had, had done. <laughs> Those darn rabid dogs. It was a dire wolf or something that... Ate my face and made me poop myself. Good times. <laughs> I've got a weird dichotomy. I like I like games like this that are like simulation games, and like survival games that are zombie based. I don't know why that is. <laughs> I need one that blends the two of them together. Car mechanic simulator in a zombie universe. Only play games on console, your PC's a very bad potato. Oh, yeah. I mean, the nice thing is, like, some of the indie games don't really suck up crazy amounts of uh, computing power, but um, this game, it probably... I mean, I don't know what it's like, actually. I haven't played it on a lower-end computer, so I'm not sure. But I know 2018 was not super well-optimized, and so it was uh, not always the best that way. I just recently replaced my computer though, so I got a bit of a beast now. You gonna play the new DLC for Oni? Actually, I want to take a whole week and play Oni. Actually, it's it's been a while since I played it, so I was debating um, just having a week of playing Oxygen Not Included. Um, there's also new DLC, or not new DLC, but um, new content coming for uh, Don't Starve Together this week. I think. I think it's I think it's supposed to come on like Thursday or something. Roger Raptor played a game and wanted to watch uh, more of the game and found your channel and have to say your content's great. Well, thanks, Steven. Is it, oh, is it, Ste uh, sorry, Stefan? Terrible name pronunciations. Everyone needs to be named Bob. Make it easy for me. What are the specs of my new computer? Uh, could someone want to drop the Nightbot command in there? Because I, uh, I always have to think about it. My, my brain doesn't like thinking. <laughs> It's actually uh, exclamation point specs, I think, as it is. Yeah, there it is. I just want the remake Ark to be WoW based? World of Warcraft based Ark? I can't even envision what that would be like. <laughs> Wondering, have you repaired more cars in CMS 2018 than you wrecked in State of K2? <laughs> yes. I would have to go with yes. Mostly because uh, we played CMS 18 for years. It came out in 2017, and I think I played it for pretty consistently for like two years. Maybe three years. No, the game's not free. Uh, when it comes out, it'll be like $25. I think US is the base price. And then DLC content for the game is... Uh, um, oops. Uh, $5 each. But it's not free. I think it's well worth the cost of it, though, to be honest. I'm, I might be biased because I did get a copy of the game for free, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Um, but for my money, $25 for a game that I can get 
hours and hours and hours of entertainment value out of. That's a pretty good deal. I'd spend way more than that just going to a movie. Stefan, welcome to Duplicant. Thanks for clicking the join button. Appreciate the support. Also because he wrecks the same cars over and over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, that's that's fair. Because I, I do tend to blow up the car and then fix it and then blow it up again in State of the K2. <laughs> it's like a... I'm like a chronic, chronic auto wrecker in that game. I feel bad for anyone in my community in that game that's the mechanic. I haven't played Beam NG. I, I, when I saw it ages ago, I actually wanted to, and I never got around to it. Uh, the crash physics looks fantastic in that game, though. He's like that too. Hours and weeks of yeah, exactly. Play games in general, I find are like that. Every one of their games that I played, I, I got way more value out of than I paid for. And it's not because I got the games for free, because I actually I, all the clay games I actually bought. <laughs> you ever played My Summer Car? No, that is one that has been on my list for something to try for a very long time. And I've never tried it. And everyone who knows me says I will be immensely frustrated with it. <laughs> I, I probably should take their advice. <laughs> but at, at some point, I may end up trying it. Okay, we got the whole thing taken apart. Okay, let's see what we can fix now. <laughs> back, back to the repairing minigame. When does the game come out on console? So uh, it's supposed to be out on console on the 12th, although it sounds like the uh, the PS4 version of the game may be delayed until the 16th. At least uh, that's what some people in the chat have been reporting. Uh, but it comes out on PC on the 11th, console on the 12th, otherwise. Wish they had an easy way to change the banner on CMS18. Do they have a logo banner on in CMS21? Um, I don't remember how we changed the banner in CMS 18. I think you just had to like go into a, a into a file and add a graphic, right? Um, I haven't seen one for for CMS 2021. Yeah, four pages of this stuff to repair. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of mini game. At least it's uh, a fair number of parts I can fix. Oh, I just broke one. Oh, it didn't break. It only just damaged it. Good. You can still fix it. It's just a little obliterated. It's still good. It's still good. In Australia, the game comes out in 10 hours on PC. Nice. 10 hours. Yeah, so here that would be like uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes hard to tell like the exact time that something's going to become available because it's never just at midnight. Well, I shouldn't say never. It's very rarely just like a midnight availability. Is it supposed to curve that way? Is what's supposed to curve that way? Does upgrading performance parts with salvage make it give more horsepower? Uh, upgrading... I don't know. I haven't done any of the parts upgrades yet. I actually don't even have the piece unlocked that lets me do it. Um, I probably should. But I haven't done it yet. So I have some salvage parts. So you'll see that in the top right. It's the number next to the blue symbol. I have salvage parts, but I haven't tried any of the parts upgrades yet. Um... I know putting performance parts in increases the horsepower and stuff, but um, I don't know about the part upgrades. I'm talking about the part you fixed.
Oh, the, oh, the, yeah, yeah. The one you mean the one I, I uh, quote unquote fixed that I broke a little bit. <laughs> I just dropped it on the floor. It's fine. It's fine. It's got like a weird bend to it now, but we'll heat it up and pound it a few times. I'm sure it'll fit in. That's what she said. Okay, those are done. Uh, 11,000 left. I guess before I start ripping the body off... Maybe I should make sure I can get all the mechanicals complete in the car first. Um, so we'll start back on the engine. I'm stamped. There might be a lot of shopping involved here. Actually, what have I got in my inventory that I couldn't fix? Oh, piston rings. That makes sense. Pistons I can't fix. Alright, start building a shopping list. Uh, piston rings, piston with Conrad. Uh, I should make sure that... Oh, I got all kinds of stuff on here. Figure that out. So at least the stuff that's in here that I can see I didn't fix, I know I'm going to have to buy. Um, oh, let's actually sort by condition here. What have we got? Oh, there's actually a lot I couldn't fix. Uh, small bushings. We got rocker arms. Uh, I couldn't fix the camshaft, really? I thought I could fix those in this game. Valve push rods, idler roller, serpentine belts, get an arm. Valve push rod I already got. Timing chain, relay types, wheel caps, front sway bar, air filter base, spark plugs, relay type A, air filter. Holy cow. Piston rings already added. Oil filter, another fuse. Inner tie rod. Air shock absorber. Holy cow. Okay, we're going to be spending a lot of money. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a pricey fix up. Outer tie rods. Fuel tank. I can't remember if I put brake drums on there already, so we'll do that. Air filter cover. We'll deal with the wheels afterward, I guess. We'll see what, they, what condition they're in. Oh, we need brake pads. Cam gear. Flywheel. Oh my god, so many parts. Timing cover. Brake shoes. Distributor. Sway bar. Axles. Ventilated disc we couldn't fix. Rod caps. Power steering pump. <laughs> okay, there's a lot. <laughs> Clutch release bearing. Yikes. <laughs> that is going to be an expensive bill. <laughs> Look at all the parts we have to buy. Oh, no. I Yeah, I got to do the shocks, too. I got to rip them apart first, though, so I get all the right pieces. Um, yeah, we might run out of money. <laughs> Oh, we're already in the, the uh, pistons I need. So I need, uh... need pistons with Conrod and the, uh... Piston rings. Oops. Oh boy, I should not have put all these things on here at once. Okay, piston rings are gone. Love the Pagani. Hope they had cars they added to the CMS 2018. Yeah, I'm curious to see what they'll end up having. It's it's really hard to say what they'll have licensed. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I mean, I needed to go in there anyway, but that was a little sooner than I was planning. Let's see what I've placed here. Oh! 
Uh, I should probably put the camshaft in. Before I forget. Oh, I didn't, get, I didn't buy one. Uh, camshaft. There we go. Now we can get that off the list. They have them for 2018, but they have them for 2021. No, not necessarily. So, a lot of the cars that were that were in the game in 2018, that any of the branded ones, for example, were uh, part of a licensing agreement with the brand. And so, the context of that agreement would define where they could use it. Like, um, it's, it may not be like an in perpetuity across all versions of their game. It might have been licensed specifically for use in CMS 2018, for example. In which case, if they were going to have it in 2021, they would have to license it again. Which is why they use the generic cars, right? So that many of them are they're based on real-world cars, and they just give it like a fake name. So that way they get, they get the likeness without the branding. Okay, I need, uh, I need one rod cap. Uh, funny thing is, this is supposed to make it easier, but I, <laughs> it doesn't really work when you have like a bajillion things on your shopping list. Maybe I should make a point of not doing that. We'll do it like one at a time. What's the price of the base game? It'll be $25, apparently. Um, I imagine that'll be in US dollars. And then uh, the DLCs are five dollars each. If you get it on console, apparently the um, the Electric Cars DLC comes included, and so the price is like thirty dollars on console. Um, oil filter. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Gotta make sure I keep taking these things off the list, so our shopping list gets smaller and smaller. Okay, flip it over. I love using the engine mount for this. Just look at the other bench and see if you could fix the camshaft? Well, okay, well, hold on. So there's... I think all these repair benches are the same. So that's repair table parts. Repair table parts. Repair, repair table parts. I mean, it's not like they've got different parts benches, I don't think. Yeah, like these are all body parts here, and then all the mechanical parts are the same bench, basically. The only difference is that like if you use the lathe for the lathe for the brake pieces or whatever, but how much is that game? I think we're gonna need a command for Nightbot. <laughs> uh base game's supposed to be twenty-five, I think it's US. DLCs are five dollars each, apparently. But you wanna check the price on Steam when it becomes when it becomes available for you. Because uh, the currencies obviously will alter the price a bit. Do good, John. How are you? If you want to own one of the other games, it's 10% discount on PC too. Oh, is it? That's cool. That's handy. Nice little perk for having their other uh, other games. Yeah, 11th is PC, 12th is console, and then someone said 16th for PS4, but uh, I don't know how accurate that is. Um, I need the lower the air filter tray, air filter base. There it is. Then on there, I need an air filter now. Oh, I should get the um. There's the air filter there. Get that off, and then. Air filter cover. So if it's ten percent discount on one of the others, what? I, what if you own two? Is it twenty percent? <laughs> ah, you should. You should be so lucky. <laughs> Yeah, try not to spam, guys. I know that um, there's the same questions coming up a lot, obviously, because um, as people join the stream and 
weren't here earlier, they're going to have similar questions. Uh, always happens with a new game, but I'm um, trying not to spam. Uh, fuel filter. Grab that. That off the list. Might as well get the spark plugs now. Oh, wait, wait, you know what? We should put performance plugs in this thing. Tuning shop. I guess it'll be in the tuning shop for the... Is there performance plugs? Let's find out. Acquiring minds want to know. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, there are. Uh, uh not the gl oh glow plugs they're gonna have diesel in here i think maybe that's cool i don't think they had any diesel vehicles in 2018. by part <laughs> those are expensive spark plugs right there uh oh i need the distributor too actually get all that I'm not sure if it's worth it to use the performance parts when I'm going to sell this thing, but a couple can't hurt. I mean, it could hurt, actually, but... What's my favorite car? Everybody always asks that, and I actually... I don't know what I would pick. Um, I mean, out of sports cars and stuff, I really like the Maserati. Um, but, like, as a as a classic sports car, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the 1950s Corvettes. Uh, I need 16 of the push rods. But in terms of like a car that I, I just want to buy, I would go with like a Tesla Model Y. Push rods. <laughs> oh my god, I have, they've got so many parts in here, I can't even see them. Oh, I gotta get all the rocker arms too. I don't think those any of those are fixable. I think the base game has a V12 engine. Uh, I think it does. Yes. Um, I've noticed that there's parts in the junkyard and in the barn for a V12. I don't know what car, to be honest. Um, I think there's a. a you know, actually, I do. I do know what car. There's um. There's like a fake version of a Lamborghini in here. I forget what they call it because it's got a different name, but um, the base game has like a fake Lamborghini and I think that's a B12. What that fuel filter just attached to? Oh, it's a magical flying air filter, or a fuel filter. <laughs> it's uh, it's the latest design. It uh, cuts down on um, friction or something. <laughs> uh, there's a few things like that may that maybe don't make a ton of sense because they don't have... They don't have necessarily all of the uh, all the realistic parts in here. There's no you'll notice there's no hoses or lines or anything. No electrical wires aside from the uh, ones for the spark plugs. Hey Fox, been a while since I caught you live. Hey Lily, let me drop. How you doing? I think this gonna be great to show your son how cars work. Got like the basics, right? It's it's obviously a simplified version of things, so it doesn't have all the all the detail, but it is neat that it has uh, like the core parts of it, so you can kind of see how the see how an engine's all assembled and stuff. Now break the rocker arms and push off the shopping list. Do I have them on my shopping list still? I do, actually. Yep, there we go. Uh, push rods, I gotta go too. So diesel engines because they're glow plugs and I haven't seen a gas engine with glow plugs yet. Um, I'm wondering if there is too. I haven't seen a diesel engine one, but I haven't specifically looked. Uh, and I just saw the glow plugs there too for the first time. So I'm suspecting there is a there is going to be something diesel in here, but I haven't uh, I haven't specifically seen it yet. I mean, I guess in fairness, I I'm also only level 13 right now, so. Like, you know, there's still a lot more car to complete in this game. <laughs> Couldn't let your nephew play this, but confuse what he thinks, you know, so far. Oh. <laughs> I 
I mean, like I said, it's not perfect. You couldn't learn to do like auto repair based on this, but you could learn generally where, what, like, what different parts are called and where they are. The style of valve cover is a pain to get sealed. Yeah, I could see that. Just hit it with the goop. Good, good thorough gooping. Now, you know what I just realized is we're going to... Uh, so I put a lot of stuff on the shopping list, but we're going to run into all the parts that we're just missing on the car that I'm going to have to buy also. We're already done to $9,000. Yikes. This is going to be uh, going to be cutting a little bit close to have enough money to even finish this thing. Ah, see, there's one we don't have. Uh, exhaust manifold. Fortunately, it'll be the last item on here. Maybe I better not put a bunch of performance parts in this. I did plugs and uh, the distributor as performance, but... I might be cutting it close money-wise, so maybe I'll lay off the performance parts this time. I don't want to dump a fortune on parts and then not like be stuck where I, I can't even do a customer order again. Okay, ignition wires. Uh, you know what? We already did some of it. Maybe. <laughs> Hold on. Ignition wires. We'll get these ones. Just because we already did the distributor and the spark plugs, and then I won't use any others. <laughs> Seems like it would be silly otherwise. Uh, okay, up the front. Damn gear does not get fixed. Never fixing the gears in this game. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, let's just start buying, I guess. I know I'm gonna have to buy them anyway. We'll start buying and checking them off. The bushings, I don't even know how many I need of them. Spark plugs can go. Oops. Does that mean I have any cam gears on this thing when I took it apart? Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, timing cover, no good. Dish wires, that can go. Uh, exhaust manifold can go. Cam gear can go. Whoops. Getting there. The parts list is slowly dwindling. <laughs> what do you think about uh, being able to paint parts? I like the addition. I think it would uh, add to the car's look. I thought in 2018 you could do it as long as, like, if you took a part to the paint bay. I'm not certain though. I I, I never really did it. I don't know if it do, if it works or not. Um, I think that'd be all right. I mean, within reason. I'm, can you literally paint any part in an engine? Or are there limitations around that? I've never tried. I'm not much of an auto mechanic. What was that? The water pump pulley. Get that off. Uh, let's get the crankshaft pulley while we're at it, because the pulleys never fix. Uh. Arm B, what is that? All right. Arm A can go, where's that? Oh, let's get the serpentine belt here. Arm B, there it is. Took woodworking instead of auto in high school. I've been in several fields, army, medic, news here. Well, my mechanic friends are still mechanics. Oh yeah, I mean, I took uh, I took auto shop when I was in high school, but our auto shop class was kind of weird. We spent like he didn't really go through any 
instructional type stuff because he had a really bad attitude. His, his opinion was that the people in the class sucked and would never get better anyway. And so he's like, I'm not going to teach you. We're just, you guys just do what you want to do and just work on whatever cars because you're all a bunch of screw ups anyway. It's like, wow, what did I sign up for? <laughs> I wasn't entirely watching what I need. Oh, power steering pump. I need that. Uh, let's see. Ignition distributor, I got that taken care of. Did I buy the RB already? I feel like I did. I think I need more idler rollers. Front exhaust section, wheel hub bearing, brake pads, front sway bar, rock cap. All right. I'm just going to start getting to that point now where I've got... I've got stuff that's just not on my list. Roller A, I need two more roller A's. Fox doesn't use oil, he uses syrup. He's gonna... That's right. We don't need oil around these parts. We run on beaver and maple syrup power. The occasional moose thrown in for good measure. Hold on a second, I gotta turn down the temperature of my igloo here. Don't make me call the Mounties on you. Have I still got rod caps on the shopping list? I did, yep, thank you. Okay, is that everything on here? Have I got it all? I mean, uh, the, uh, the gearbox stuff we can put in when it's actually in the car, I guess. I mean, I got it right here. I guess I could, I could put the flywheel on. If I had a flywheel, it is. Boop. Okay, I think the engine is pretty much done at this point. It's looking so much better. Oh, it's so sweet. Okay, uh, this needs to come off of here. Bloop. Stick that in my pocket because that's the kind of mechanic I am. Plop that right back in. Oh, looking nice. Uh. Back. You know what? I didn't even check and see whether I needed to fix the body. Do that too. Machine wanna repair it. 500 credits? Really? It's my own welder. Why does it cost me 500 credits? Whatever. Get that out of here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh, what else do I need here? Let's, um, we need that. We don't have a battery, then we need that. We need the power steering reservoir. Initial reservoir. Radiator type C. Use box A, we fixed, actually. Small miracles. Oh man, we need a lot of fuses, though. Yeesh. Two type A's. Four type B's, two type C's, man. Oh, that'll be the electronics. Um, I wish I had <laughs> some order to the parts that are in here a little bit. <laughs> clips! I forgot the clips. Oh, no. Always with the clips. Stupid clips. I need two of these. I think it's B's for the distributor cap, right? Always with the clips. I forget those things so often. Yep, clip B's. If it's not the clips, it's the oil. Thank you. Battery can go in. Uh, let's see. Let's get some of these basics out of the way. Brake servo. 
Oh god, we're running out of money. We're at 6,500. That's not that's not promising. Level of detail in the engine's amazing. Yeah, it's it's really sharp actually. They've done a very good job on it. Yeah, obviously it's not it's not perfect. It doesn't have everything. You know, you don't have any of your lines and stuff. It's not a whole lot of wire wiring going on, but uh, it is really really sharp. Okay, let's look for fuses now. Uh, I need to go back to here. Relay type A. There's two of these, I think. I can go. And then relay type B. I needed four of these ones. Relay type C. I needed two of, wherever that is. Medium fuse type B. Oh man. Did I not mark the relay type C? <laughs> I might have got. I might not have. I need two of them though. Be insanely tedious for a game to have all those uh, hoses and such, I believe. I think so too, yeah. There's a point at which you have to simplify to make the game still entertaining. I don't think you can have it. I mean. Unless you were trying to use it as an instructional technique or something. You really couldn't have it being 100% spot on. Plus, I haven't really scraped my knuckles even once yet. And I'm not going to have to wash my hands for four hours to get all the oil off. Okay, so I need few, medium fuse type B. Two, two A's. So I need three B's and two A's. Oops. Shoot. I'm really worried about my cash. <laughs> I thought I had more than enough to do what we needed to today. And then I started buying things. Uh, fuse box cover. Okay. Fuses are done. What else we got up here we gotta deal with? I think that's it for the moment. Okay. Let's get this thing up. No, I put the distributor cap clips on. They were, uh, they're clip type B. I just put those on a moment ago. Relax, car gonna get you paid. It, it will, but I have to have enough cash to complete the car, and that's my concern. Because, <laughs> uh... I mean, we were able to repair a lot of parts, which is really helpful. I need a lot of bushings. Alright, hold on. Where's my shopping list? Rubber bushing? I don't know, let's get like a dozen of these. They're cheap anyway. We have an engine. We do. It's actually a really nice engine now. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. Nice. Fix the wheel hubs and everything. Uh, wheel bearings are not fixable in my experience, so I probably will have to deal with that. Uh, I did manage to lay one of the brakes, but the other one is toast. Uh, so we're gonna need wheel hub bearings. I'm gonna need. Probably two of these, because I think it's drum brakes in the back. I need one of these. Brake pads, we're going to need two of those. Outer tie rods, I'm going to need two of those. Inner tie rods, two of these. Let's take a shopping spree over here. Wait, our front end links. We need two of those. Hydro rollers can go away. Wheel hub caps. I need two of these. What else? Uh, brake drums. 
Gotta have those. Use this can go away. Front sway bar. Okay, see how that see how far that takes us. Mm, geez, this car just come out of an axle. You seem to be buying a lot. Uh. Yeah, no, it had quite a bit of the parts, actually, but there were parts missing, and there were parts that I couldn't fix because they were just in too rough condition. So, generally, if anything's below 15%, you're not going to be able to fix it. And there are some parts you just don't seem to be able to fix anyway. Um, so that does kind of have a bit of an effect on things. Okay, I can't... I gotta do this with this music again. <laughs> uh, that's a little better for the moment. I'm gonna go downhill again, though. I wish I could just put on like an like an album or something. <laughs> Did they ever do a midnight release? Um, not for this game. It does happen for some games, but uh, I've never seen it for much on Steam, to be honest. Is the music too low for you now? See, before it was too loud and everyone was complaining the music was too loud and now it's too low. <laughs> Hold on. It's not, uh, there's not a whole lot to listen to there anyway. Um, what are we doing here? Oh, I didn't do the shocks yet. We gotta deal with that too. Sway bar in here. Okay. Um, we get the other side and then we'll deal with the shocks, I guess. Just fine. You're in with the audio? That's good. I mean, I don't want the uh, I don't want the music to be right like up in your face anyway. It's just I, I don't like to have like dead silence in the background when I'm doing something like this. Nice to have a little bit of something going on. That was the best feeling, going to the junkyard and buying parts you knew we were going to need and taking them back and repairing them. Yeah, we, uh, I, I did a, a, a junkyard run earlier just to see if we could repair parts and sell them for a profit. And we did make a little bit of money, but it, it sure wasn't much. Um, I don't have the, the, uh, the storeroom open just yet, so... I haven't just started, like, grabbing common parts to repair as a means to save money, because I don't have a place to store them other than in my inventory, which gets too cluttered as it is. But you probably could save a ton of money by just collecting some of those common things that you're constantly having to replace. Get it for, like, a fraction of the cost of the junkyard. Between five to ten percent of your voice. Oh, the uh, the music. Okay. <laughs> Did I remember the oil? We're not uh, we're not at the point of the oil just yet. <laughs> I think I you know I have an oil filter on. I probably could put oil in it, but on the off chance I have to take something apart, still I, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's pull the spring the uh, the shocks apart. We can tag the pieces I need for shopping. Ooh, this game looks fun! What do you do? Uh, you're basically an auto mechanic. Are you running an auto shop? You start off first by repairing customer cars and uh, getting them all spick and span so you can make some money, earn some experience to unlock skills and abilities and expand on your garage. And then you get to the point where you can just, like, pick up junk cars in the junkyard or find them in, uh, in barns and stuff. Rip them apart. Put them all back together and resell them and stuff. It's, I don't know, it's just kind of one of those fun, chill games that um, I've I've had hours and hours of entertainment in. Um, all right. So the shocks I just took off. Rival. Shoot. I think it was they were double wishbone shocks, right? 
Those are the rear shock absorbers. I need to sell the broken parts. Hold on. Uh, B. Sell everything that's lower than, like, uh, 80%. Uh, oh, shoot. I just sold the shock parts. Oh, God. I'm dumb. Uh, I think they were double wishbones. <laughs> double wishbone shock absorber. Okay. <laughs> God, I'm so smart. SMRT. Uh, a double wishbone shock absorber. Okay, so I need two of these. Ooh, we'll need uh, two of the springs. We'll need two of the caps. Front shock absorber cap. There. Problem solved. Just the day is gone stream. Darn it. Oh, yeah, we streamed that yesterday. Mostly it was a hot mess of being attacked by wolves over and over and over again. I don't know how many times we got attacked by wolves last night, but it was ridiculous. <laughs> Did I put... Wait, there's a clip on the fuse box? No, you gotta be lying to me. There's no clip on there. I figured you were messing with me. It'd be just like me to miss it, though, like... <laughs> oh, man, the tires are gonna be expensive on this thing. Uh, front exhaust section. I need two of these. Mm. Let's see. Front exhaust section. Okay, we'll get that. Uh, we might as well get the rufflers while we're at it. We need two of those. Uh, why do I still have a front exhaust section on here? Don't I just buy pieces I didn't need? Oh, of course I did. <laughs> oh, wait, or maybe it was these. Oh, okay, good. No, it was these. I got it. I got it. Phew. I screwed up there for a second. Oh, I don't have a middle buffalo yet either. Go. Where's my middle muffler? All right, that on the lists. But uh, these on the list, I guess. I can go front exhaust. Oh no, it is on there. All right. I don't know if there's two different ones there. I'm gonna just I'll buy one for now. See what the other side looks like. B8 OHF. Uh, nope, same part. Huh. There we go. Is this the demo? No, this is the full version of the game. Uh, it comes out tomorrow on PC. Uh, that would be uh, August 11th, and then uh, on August 12th on console. But um, the publisher of the game was kind enough to provide me with a code early. Uh, so we've been playing it since last week. So far, it's so good. I mean, I'm really curious to see what they're going to add in terms of um, DLC content and stuff, and what level of community support they'll be in terms of adding mods, but uh, I have to say, so far, it's been really good. Um, break shoe, I don't think I need. Rear shock absorbers, we do need. All right, I need to add the fuel tank. Leaf spring rear iron drive axle we'll need. Oh man. Uh, solid rear drive axle. I'm gonna need two. Ooh, actually, I don't know if I repaired one. I, I should wait. <gasps> Did I have one of those already? No. That's why it wasn't on my shopping list. I fixed it already. Ah. Oh. Wasted money. Really should wait and see when I got these problems. Good 
drive on dry rot tires and see how well we can drive it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the tires are probably pretty rough, but we could make them work a bit. Shock absorber bees. Uh, there it is. Get rid of that. Get rid of the fuel pump. Get rid of the fuel tank. The shopping list mechanic is great. In 2018, it was terrible. So you could put stuff on the shopping list, but it didn't really help you. You still had to like manually type in everything all the time. Uh, that is one of the big quality of life upgrades they made in 2021 that I'm really happy about. Just being able to tag stuff on there and then click on it to pull up the item in the shop is so good. Especially since I constantly forget what I needed and then, oh, shoot, break shoot, oh, I got one. Uh, I constantly forget what I needed, and then I'm forever, like, I was forever having to go back and, like, retype, like, look it up and then retype it in, and, you know, I gotta remember, like, a goldfish, so. I need small rubber bushings. I'll, I'll need four of those, I guess. Uh, small rubber bushing. I'm gonna add the oh crap, I locked the over. Uh, I knocked over the pan with the screws in it mini game. <laughs> no, I feel like they should. <laughs> they, they do have like uh, a thing for oil spills, but it pretty much just charges you a fee. I don't, I don't know why necessarily. I, I kind of wish they would make you mop it up, but uh, they didn't go that route. Guys, <laughs> like, scour the uh, the shop floor with a magnet, trying to find that one little piece. That's always easy. Just the windows displaying it. Oh, it was bad. For for which? Oh, for the for the shop, you mean? Yeah, they um. Maybe they changed the functionality for console because you don't have mouse control or something. But oh my god! Oh my god! Come on! There we go. I got zoomed on the right part. What about the oil spillage insurance at the start of the next round? Oh wait, that's yeah, that's turmoil. <laughs> also a very good game. Uh, solid rear drive axle. Don't need that. Need one of these. Oh wait, uh, take that off of there. Forty-one hundred and sixty credits left. Woo! Kind of close. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy a brake shoot, yeah. The shopping list, yeah. Yeah, I, it's almost like they, they made a version of it for the PC and then um, maybe they heard feedback about it or decided it could be better. So when they did it on console, they did it the right way. Funny how that works. This is that awful music I can't listen to. Maybe you got to add the U-bolts on the other side. Did I? I'll double check. I thought I had them on there. Oh, they're there. Oh, those are the leaf spring bolts. Yeah, yeah. Yep, we got them. Just haven't done this side yet. Oh, I'm missing one. I guess I only fixed three of them. Why aren't I buying two each for both rear sides? Because some of the parts I repaired, so I've been... Um, in the interest of not buying something I've already fixed, I was uh, just buying one at a time. Okay. I think everything in the back end is done aside from the drive shaft, but we need to do the uh, the gearbox before we can do that. Get our clutch in here. Oh. No, I learned something today. Clutch pressure plates. I can go release bearing. We'll grab that while we're here. 
my god, we might be almost done with the parts we have to buy. Although we, we do need rims and tires, so that's going to be expensive. Curious to see if we can fix the rims. Get a performance clutch. I, I'm kind of real, I, my cash is getting really low, so I, I put in performance spark plugs and performance distributor and performance wires. I should probably be using a performance clutch, but I don't know that I can afford it. So for this car, because I'm just going to sell it anyway, I'm not super worried about it. Good thing I don't have to buy all the bolts, right? Can you imagine how much that would be. If we wanted to be all shiny and new, that'd be a, that'd be a fairly significant expense, I think, just in hardware that way. Okay. Call me crazy, but I think we've got all the mechanical stuff done. think gonna deal with the rims now uh we'll get the wheels off the uh, the tires off the rims here fox doesn't need to buy the bolts he has plenty left over from the past quote-unquote repairs <laughs> yeah from all the parts i forgot to put back in we got quite a collection now <laughs> all those poor customers who trusted me the fools uh i had the fuel pump in the tank it should be okay yeah, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't put any of the fluids in yet. We'll, we'll deal with that pretty much last. Imagine a minigame where you had to find the correct bolts out of a bucket of mixed bolts. Oh my god. Now I'm going to try to repair the rims. The, the tires I won't be able to, but... Let's see what we can do the rims. As you upgrade your mechanic, you should be able to get better mechanics tools. Well, you kind of do, so... Um... Over here in your toolbox, you get some you get different skills that you can do. So you can screw you can screw things in faster, you can place pieces faster, you get discounts and stuff. And this column here that I have now all filled out in green is the tier of parts that you can repair. Um so as you build this up, you can repair more and more up to the point now where you can repair body parts. Not human body parts, of course, but just those on the car. <laughs> uh and then over here you have different tools that you can buy as well, uh just using credits. And garage expansions you can buy using credits as well. So you, you sort of do upgrade to, to better tools or whatever, but it's um, it's maybe not that linear. It's not like you just go to the store and buy better tools or whatever, but you just sort of like... Oh, God, I broke it. That one actually got wrecked too. That's going to be expensive. Okay, uh, which one did I break? Rim Supernova 14 inch. The tires aren't even in the bad of shape. It's too bad you can't fix tires. Nope, uh, I need to be in the rim shop for that. There we go. 14 inch. Okay, and then for tires, uh, I should probably put those on the list too. So vintage tire, 195, 75 R14s. Same on all four wheels. Up to the tire shop. Okay, 195, 75 R14s. There we go. It wasn't expensive as I thought it would be. I thought that'd be a little bit pricier. Not that I'm complaining. You likely can fix the tires with the retreader tool? Is there a retreader tool in here? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. That's the salvager. Paint shop. Paint shop, dyno, lifter, S-Path. There's no retreader. 
Not that I'm aware of. Next thing you know, you're gonna have me searching for blinker fluid. Put <laughs> the tires and half right down the center line. They glue the two good halves together and finish with flex tape. Oh, perfect. Why didn't I think of that? Don't forget to do an alignment. Uh, I can balance, but I don't know that I can do an alignment. I don't have the test path. <laughs> That, that may uh that may propose some problems. You know how hard it is to match rims from older vehicles? Nigh impossible. Yeah, I can see that. This one I saw a retreader, maybe it was in the dino shop. Oh maybe it is. Alignment's in the dino? I thought the, oh okay. I thought it was in the test path for some reason. Uh no, thank you. <laughs> I guess well, this thing's gonna be misaligned, which is not the best. The strip, spin and drip method of tire refurbishment. Uh, can I not just light it on fire and call it the, uh, the flambéed version of tire repair? To take to unlock the dino in this. Yeah, I gotta remember to refill the fluids, you're right. I am terrible at remembering to do that, but I will I will get it. If I don't, the game will just prompt me anyway. It's not like I can blow the engines by not putting oil in it. We also haven't fixed the body or the interior up just yet. Um, so there's still that work to do. Oh, uh, look, it's so nice. Hey, look, it even says radial tubeless over here. Safety warning. That's a good level of detail. BF Goodwin. <laughs> Death Pass does do alignment and headlight alignment thing. Oh, does it? Alright. I, I have there's some things I haven't gotten unlocked yet. I kind of raced ahead to rebuilding a car, but we haven't really unlocked all the drop components just yet. Oh my god, that looks so good. It's gonna be a shame to sell this thing, but it's not like we can't just rebuild another one. The common reminds me of the game Amateur, Sur Amateur Surgeon, where the pizza delivery driver decides to become a doctor without all the pesky education and licensing. <laughs> Sounds like a surgeon simulator. We don't need to know about cars. I just click on the places where it tells me to click. It's all good. Okay, 3,400 credits left. I can pull body parts off and start fixing those now, I guess. Well, I can't fix things like headlights. I'm gonna have to buy those. Stripper down. I won't be able to repair glass either, so that's going to be a little bit of an expense there. Alright, I think we got everything off the body now. Let's go see what we can repair. I'm curious. Oh, and shit's got to go too. I haven't done any body repairs yet. How's this minigame work? Same way. All right. Okay, what's this do? Thing. Thing. All right, we're good. You wouldn't trust me with a ball peen hammer. Oh, that makes me sad. Right at my sad place. It's like K 
kick me right in the subcockle region of my heart. Oh man, this car looks so good. Did I not have a right side mirror? I don't. How about that? Uh, all right, that's gotta go on the list. Right front window, right body window, rear window. Tail lights have got to go on the list. All the glass stuff I couldn't fix. Headlights. Okay. Off to the body shop. You know what? I can pretty much just buy. Let's go ahead and buy all the glass parts in here that I don't have, obviously. Uh, right side mirror. Tail lights. Did I get both of the headlights? We'll find out in a second. <laughs> I didn't get the windshield. actually not a car crypt is actually working on a toaster oh it's a very nice toaster though it's a very nice toaster it reminds me of the yellow car in my summer car <laughs> i have not played that game i really want to play that i don't know where i would find the time oh my god look at that you know what? i think the reflections are nicer in this version of the game too versus 2018 the glass reflections in particular are very convincing very nice i mean it doesn't have the blinding glorious radiance that we had that one time but Oh, we need license plates, too. Um, what kind of license plates should we put on this thing? Kingdom of Kabuto. Oh, my God. They got everything in here. Russia, San Marino, Red Dot City, Wyoming. Somebody showed something out in chat. What, uh, what state or location or whatever should we choose for the license plates? Driver's side headlights not new? Okay, I'll check it. Such a relaxing game. Glad it's updated. Yeah. You're right, it's not new. Rat. Uh, Alright, see Michigan, so we'll pick Michigan. Left headlight, there we go. Alright, Michigan it is. Plates, Michigan. All oh, right, I can't type the name in. I forgot. Probably shouldn't be buying custom plates because they're expensive. But now you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. Custom plates are expensive in this game. We get generic plates. Need two of these. Nineteen hundred credits for two freaking license plates. Get out of here. There we go. It's because I started typing. <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't want custom plates. Good lord. That's absurd. Yeah, so note to self, don't get custom plates in this game. It's just, uh, it's not gonna be worth it, like, ever. I think I bought two of those taillights. Oh, darn it. Okay. Uh, we have 1,551 credits left. We haven't done the interior just yet, but let's just double check that everything else is looking good. 100% across the board on everything. Did I see something that wasn't? No. Just the seat and the bench. And actually, where's the steering wheel? I don't see that listed here, actually. Does it not count the steering wheel, or is it just automatically 100%? Huh. 
So apparently they don't... Oh, here it is here. Okay, yeah, never mind. Seat, Supernova, Steering Wheel. So they were just so close that they were in green. I get it. Property. Yeah, how much are we worth here? Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I'd say we made a profit. Not a, not a, not like an insane amount, but we're gonna make you know twenty five thousand in profit on it. Well, it says thirty eight here, but I, I, I swear it was more, a little lower than that on profit. I think, because it's just comparing the buy price to the sell price. But, um, by the time we put all the parts and stuff in it, uh, comes over console on August twelfth. August twelfth, PC tomorrow, August eleventh. Uh, okay, let's get this outside because we need to um, we need to be able to get inside to be able to do the interior. Oh man, I wasn't really struggling to get money. I was over thirty thousand when we bought this car, but buying from the um, buying from the barns is not the cheapest way to get the cars. They're still like it's all it, they've almost got like this um this value built into the, the the barn cars where it's like well the owner um the owner still is, has an attachment to it and so therefore they want more money kind of thing uh let's take out all the interior here oops okay so we'll put that on the list, and this on the list, and then on the list, and this on the list, and then off to the interiors. Oh. Get all this out of here. Steering wheel. Probably should have seen if I could actually fix these parts. I don't know whether you can, though. Oh boy. Okay, good. <laughs> That's cutting it close. I still have to put fluid in the car, but it's not going to cost 18, 18, uh, 800 credits to do that. Uh, put these in. Did I put the right seat in there? Yeah. Boom! It's done. Flawless. I even like that paint color. On this car, anyway. I, I, I don't know too many cars I would put that on, but it looks good on this car. That was very close. Yeah, we cut that close price-wise. I, I wasn't sure if we'd have enough money. Now, we could still sell some more of the parts that are broken and get a little more money back. Um, so we're not as broke as it looks initially, but that turned out great. Oh, my God. So good. So good. Everything's 100 percent across the board. It should show, like, the general condition of the car here somewhere. Ah, condition. There we go. So 100 percent across the board. We got it all covered off. Woo! Can you add a rear wing? There's not really much customization you can do on the car. Sometimes you'll get, um, you'll get variable parts or variant parts for the cars where you might have, like, a couple different versions of the trunk or different versions of the hood or the bumpers or whatever but you can't just like put whatever you want to on it you, you have to pick one of the variants that's available yeah we gotta put fluids in too <laughs> it needs uh needs to have some fluids otherwise it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a sad day and sad bill is the game multiplayer no i wish that it was but it's not it'd be great if you could like race against other players or something in it but uh, no it's, it's strictly a single player game or power steering fluid in here. Wasn't there a bug with uh, 2018 first where you could never get it to 100%? Um, I seem to recall there was something. I, I don't remember whether it was something I was overlooking or whether it was actually a bug, though. I, I have the sneaking suspicion it was actually something I missed. Like an antenna or something. Some, some thick windshield larger fluid. Yeah, the fluid physics are a little weird. <laughs> Of all the game, of all the things in the game, though, I guess it's it's not that big a deal. It's pretty inconsequential what you do with the fluids. It's a new thing. It's that's windshield washer gel. It's uh, it's all the rage these days. You guys just aren't up to aren't up to the minute with uh, with all the new developments in in car windshield washer cleaning technology. 
Okay, we need to take this thing for a spin. I'm not selling this before we've had a chance to drive it. Start the engine. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> it's funny, when I look to the right, it sounds a lot louder. When I look to the left, it's a lot quieter. That's because I got my ear cup off one of my ears. <laughs> that might have an effect on it. Did I not put coolant in it? It's funny that it let me start it. There we go. <laughs> Take it out to the track and blow the engine because it doesn't have coolant. I wish it could. I really wish I could because I would 100% end up making that mistake and destroy my car. And then have to rebuild it all. And that would just be like the awesome kick myself moment. Uh, okay, hold on. I, I mean, I, I gotta tab out here for a second because I want to lower the... Um, I want to lower the stream audio a bit because the car sounds are super noisy on the track. There we go. I wish I could... Uh, this thing really needs... Um, Windowless border mode, but it doesn't have it. Okay, off to the racetrack. Ooh, we're almost up to car auctions. We gotta get a little bit more, a little bit more level development. And you don't really gain levels, I've noticed, so much when you're doing uh, your own car work. Yeah, <laughs> I would just crash it. I, I would, but I would, I would enjoy the crash. Is I guess is my point. <laughs> Lower expectations. Lowered expectations. I love how there's no driver in the car either. I see they fixed they fixed the lighting on the track too. In 2018 version of the game, when you went up to the track, everything was like this weird washed out color and it didn't look right. Seems like they fixed that. Nope. Oh, don't read chat while you're driving. I don't have my alignment done either. Oh god, it's pulling. The, oh god, it's really pulling. <laughs> uh, I think we need to fix the alignment. Oh, baby, go! I can't drive in a straight line on this thing. Ah, uh, oof! <laughs> Perfect! Right back on the wheels. That never happened. There goes the repairs again. Oh, yeah. Let it rip! Oh. It seems to always put you back on your wheels, so there's that. <laughs> I think Julo might be a little behind on the stream there. We already got the coolant in, we're good. That's right, we're in an airplane doing... They're aileron rolls, those aren't barrel, barrel rolls. <laughs> oh, can't quite clear the fence. The angle's not quite right. <laughs> Oh, so it turns out it doesn't always put you back on your wheels. <laughs> it looks perfect. <laughs> yep, that's about right. Uh, is there a way I can reset this? Restart, there we go. <laughs> Something's wrong here.
hand that corner. I can't get over the fence. <laughs> I need to find a way to get out of there. All right, let's take this thing back home and see uh, see what we can do to sell it now that I've just trashed it. Theoretically, it should be a hot mess, but it's still good. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't muted. I just wasn't talking. <laughs> Need a faster car to launch it. Yeah, I, I might actually, yeah. And I think we need to find something you can bounce off of. Like in, in the track in 2018, there was one of those um, white and red striped uh, markers on the road. If you got the, the Viper out there, it had so much power that you could launch into the end of it. And it would create such a bump, the car would literally fly out of the track. And then you could drive around outside. I'm trying to find a spot we can do that on, the, uh, on this track, but no such luck so far. Uh, okay, so we've got 742 credits left after going to the track. So we're going to sell this and get 55,491. That's a pretty decent profit. Yeah, the Viper tries to fly without the bumps. Alright, that's fair enough. <laughs> Just tell the button the driver needs alignment. It, they don't seem to care, though. It gave me a small credit for, for performance parts, because I didn't fully boost it up. Got a condition bonus and everything on it, because it's uh, we got the 100%. But uh, I guess they don't care about the alignment so much. <laughs> no tuning, no measured torque or anything. I don't have the uh, I don't have the dyno yet. All right, car. It was really nice rebuilding you, but I need the cash so we can go do other things. That'll get us fifty five thousand four hundred ninety one dollars, and now I'm not broke anymore. Well, oh, miracles. Will the cell crease increase if you do the alignment? I don't know whether it will or not, to be honest. Um. Okay, so here's the test path. It's 10,000 credits. I'm going to buy that because it's, it'll come in handy. Um, I'm really curious what this salvaging thing is about, so let's buy that. I have not done any of that yet. The warehouse is only 750 credits, so we'll buy that so we can store parts that we might repair. Paint shop is 15,000. That would get me back down under 30 again. Maybe I'll hold off on the paint shop until we get uh, the next car restored. I just have to make sure that any car I buy has all the uh, all the parts on it. The extra lift is only oh yeah, the only extra lift is only twenty five hundred. So that'll expand the size of our garage. Thousand credits to do customizations in here. So we got that. Twenty thousand for the dyno. Fifteen. I'm gonna hold off on these. I have one skill point available, so let's make it so I can run faster. Why not? Okay, wow. The shop got a lot bigger. Aw, uh, I missed the bus already. We just got rid of it, and I already missed the bus. <laughs> I want the bus back. I really hope they make the bus a fixable car in this thing. What is that out there? Well, that's the scrap stuff I got. What do we got here? This is the salvage container. Aim for the green areas to earn bonus scrap parts. I have no idea how the scrapping works in this. Wait, you don't get to keep the bus and fix it? No, it was purely just a decoration, actually. Oh, this building's different now. This was uh, like just like a wooden building before. Now it's actually a proper building with a door that doesn't open. How do I get in here? My parts are in there. How do I... I I've got machinery in there I can't get to. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now we got... Oh, this is the test path. Okay. Test path. There's no car to work on here. That's the... Oh, there's the wheel alignment there. Okay, that, that's good. And then this is the, uh, the headlamp alignment. So, having those will maybe make it so that um, we get some different customer jobs now, too. We might get... Uh, I get some wheel alignment and headlight alignment type jobs now. Not that they pay much, but those are ones that they don't cost anything. I don't think, anyway. There's our warehouse. I still, still can't go in the front door. 
Here's the ladder for customizing the way our garage looks. It looks like there's still no option for a banner. It's pretty much just like changing flooring and things. Which does not look any different. <laughs> option one, option two. I mean, I kind of like the basic floors, to be honest. Oh, like you can like auto shop on like old wooden floors. That's cool. We go search for your next victims tonight or rebuild next uh to rebuild next time. I might actually, yeah. Uh, uh I, we might do it tackle another customer job tonight too. And my animals are wrecking the house upstairs. <laughs> what the heck? It's like a padded floor. Default. I can't even tell what this is changing. Garage, lower walls. Oh, jeez. Lifter. Oh, oh, I get it. Okay, so. Uh huh. Now I see. So if that was garage floor A, I was changing. If I go to floor B, then it's this part out here I can change. If I go to the uh, the walls, we can change those into like. Oh, that's cool. Red brick. Nice. All right, so there's going to be, like, a pretty good bunch of customizations there. I'm not really interested in doing too much of that yet. Oh, my God, I changed it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I just change it? I... I did. All right. Uh... I mean, I'm okay with the brick. I just want... I need a different floor here. I thought it would cost money. Go with the default. I like the default floor. Sweet. Uh, and then in here is our now our storage area. So in the warehouse, if I had parts that were 100%, I could store them in here and then come and take them out later when I'm actually working on cars instead of buying from the shop. I, 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 I almost never used that in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, though. Yeah, it is coming out on console. It's supposed to be out on the 12th of August, PC on the 11th. Uh, let's go check out another... Um, you know, let's go to the junkyard this time. We bought a car in the barn. It cost us, uh, what, 15000 or something like that? It was sweet when we fixed it up, though. Trying to fix the seats and the steering wheel. Yeah, I'll go take a look and see if I can. Yeah, I could have done the reset all button, but I was actually... I kind of like the brick wall, so that's all right. I mean, the barns are okay, but it, the thing is, like, um, the way the game files are set, there are some cars that will be in the junkyard and in the barns and in the auction and so on and so forth, but they're not always all in, in every place. So it's possible there are cars we'll find that are only in barns, but not in the junkyard, for example, unless I go and mani manipulate the game files again like I did last time. Ripson Starline. This one is 12,000. But it'll be in worse shape than the one we found in the barn. Uh, and as you can see, it has many more missing parts. So there's a lot more buying involved. It's missing body parts. It's missing, you know, mechanical parts and stuff. So the, the car we got was was relatively complete when we bought it from a from a barn. Auction's good if you're looking for bigger profit. Yeah, we haven't got the auctions unlocked yet. Those those unlock at level 15. We're currently level 13. 87, 26 on this thing. I wonder what I could turn that over for it. That's, that's a pretty cheap car, but it's it's going to have a, a stupid amount of work in it. Buy the forklifts? <laughs> oh, man, if only. I want to use this thing. I want to, like, crush cars in the junkyard. I feel like that could be a mini game. Like, you come out to the junkyard, you slip the guy 50 bucks, he lets you crush cars for an hour. You make 70 grand off the Starline? Oh, really? Really? Maybe we'll go take a look at that. Oh, what is this? The Bolt Hornet. That's supposed to be like a Camaro or something? 8662 on the Bolt Hornet.
Yeah, it is like a Camaro. Okay. I wonder what the Camaro sells for. I think I'm making that kind of profit on the Starline. I should probably get it. What is this? What are you? Hinata Kagura SX. Like a little Mitsubishi or something. It's kind of cool. How much is this thing? 10,874. Little Mitsubishi Lancer. It's a Subaru. Mitsubishi. <laughs> everybody's torn. Everybody's a little torn. It does actually look a bit like a Subaru. Could be a Mitsubishi Lancer. I don't know. I don't know. What should we get? Should we get the uh, should we get the Starline or should we get that Lancer back there? I think they'd both be fun to redo. Starline sounds like it just has like insane profit value though. Want to see someone do up the Lambo? I gotta find one. We, we might have to go into the game files and edit where they can be found. Because they may not be in the junkyard. No, there are several options for engines on that tab, so you can build out different engines to make more cash. Nice. Mitsubishi Lancer, this model was used in Fast the Furious 2. Nice. Hornet, Starline, more money. Lancer, either Lancer or Subaru, Impreza, Camaro, Drag Build. So many options, but this one is the one that's worth so much money. 12,413, huh? Ripson Starline. Go with the Camaro, it gets the girls. <laughs> Don't tell my wife. Oh, I'm so torn. We don't have enough cash to buy everything, so I've got to get just something. I think I might start with, uh... Hmm. I didn't rebuild the star line though. Well, I guess I kind of did because it was a customer's car, but I, I didn't get to do it for my own pocket. So maybe we'll go with um. It's, I think it's between these two here, really. Camaro or this or the uh, little Lancer. Yeah, I'm gonna get this thing, I think. It can be found in Barn Junkyard and Auction. <laughs> it, it just doesn't even know what condition it's in. It's like, this thing's so bad, we don't know what to tell you. Swap options, so we can swap out different engines into this thing, too. What about the car by the shelves? Which car? Oh. We also have the uh, El Camino over here. Or 8960. It's, it's missing a lot, though. <laughs> There's a car by the shelves, you're saying? I mean, the shelves have a bunch on them, but... I don't think there's a car over here. Oh, there is one. Where are you? Heck are you? This almost looks like a looks really boxy, like a Chrysler 300 or something. C O L X five 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 fifty. I have no idea what car this is supposed to be. It's got it's very boxy, like a Chrysler 300 or something. But ten thousand for this thing. The engine and well, no, it's missing a lot on the front of the engine. I was gonna say it looks like it's got a lot here, but. I don't know that it does. Chrysler 300 is it? Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with the Camaro. We'll go rebuild that thing. It does look like a 300, yeah. But it's purple. <laughs> there are two more sport eaters. Oh, is there? Okay, let's buy this puppy. Buy car. 
except we're gonna send that to the garage. And then uh, I guess we can just we can get out of here. We'll go back to the garage too without any parts because we don't really need anything right now. Now I need some hair metal. <laughs> Not a lot for the cheap. <laughs> well, we'll end up. You know, the thing is, when I when it comes to this game, I'll probably wind up rebuilding most things. Now that I don't have the bus to orient myself, I'm a little bit. Oh wait, I can see through the window the building at the back. Okay, good. So this is the front. <laughs> oh, look at that thing! What a hunk of junk. <laughs> That'll be fun to redo. Uh, let's put this on lifter two, I guess. I'm gonna call in a we don't have a ton of time tonight left before I end the stream, so I think we'll call in a customer order to try to get some more some more experience going here. This one's a normal order, but it has no time. Oh no, it's a story order. Hey, hi. So yeah, I borrowed the car from my dad. He kinda doesn't know about it because he's on a business trip. And you see, it happened that I was driving home at night and something jumped out in front of the car. I was driving very slowly. I really was. I didn't manage to break, and you can see the results of that in front of you. The car was thrown around a bit, but it cannot be that bad, can it? Please do what you can. Uh, please do what you have to do to cover up to the tracks. My the tracks. My father will hate me if he realizes that I messed around with his gem. It's his beloved car. Please make it quick. Well, I'm gonna take the order, and it's not gonna go quick because you owe your father an apology. Oh my God! Look how dirty it is. Ooh, is this supposed to be a BMW? Like an M3 or something? I don't know. That's, uh, first things first, they should probably get a car wash. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> it probably is. I don't have the paint shop. I have to get the paint shop still. It's expensive. Look at the hood on this thing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. There's no way somebody did this much damage to this thing. Okay, whatever. How did a person hit something but damage in the windows at the back? It looks like they, they, they had it flipped upside down in a ditch of corrosive material. <laughs> if this is a car that was in great shape and they just had a minor accident, what did they have an accident with? Like a transport truck hauling concentrated orange juice or what? <laughs> Messy. Messy, messy, messy. What is it? What does it even have here? Problems with oh parts not discovered. Oh good. Lots of stuff that don't work. Repair or replace body parts, alright. Spray it in the factory. Oh no. I don't have a paint shop. <laughs> I can't even finish this job. Mistakes may have been made. Just saying. Alright. Send this back to the shop. This tomato sauce. Weld it. Well, I'm supposed to spray it the factory color, but... Well, we'll see what happens, I guess. For 500 buckaroonies, we'll give her a quick welding and see what happens. Oh, yeah. See, it's got different colors. It's two-tone. Someone's not going to be happy. Because I don't have a paint bay. <laughs> My goodness. Do I really need to do the whole body on this thing? No, it was only a couple parts. Maybe it was already rusty. Right front bumper, left front fender, right front fender. <laughs> uh, right front, yeah. Uh -huh. Rear bumper, headlights. Actually, there's not that many body parts to do on it. Fender, bumper, fender. Get all these off. Maybe it was already a piece of junk. <sighs> bumper, two fenders, bumper, and right headlight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe I don't remember the necessary parts. I just took them off. <laughs> Are they in that bad of shape I can't fix them? Seriously? Yes, they are. Well, that's good. Good times. 
I need to remove all these extra parts. Sorry for the strobing, anyone who has epilepsy. Shoot. Okay, so I can't just fix the body parts either. So they say the spray color, do you mean the primer? No, so there's like the factory base color um, is, a, is an option in the paint bay. Like it's just, what condition is this hood in? It doesn't even tell me it needs it. Yikes, the engine looks good though. Yeah, paint shop was, uh, was it 15K or 20K? So I could probably pay, I could probably pay for the paint shop if we need to. I mean, obviously we need to for the job, but sell parts to buy paint. <laughs> it's flatlined. She's dead, Jim. Paints 15k. I mean, it's either 15 or 20. It's one of the two. Paint Bay is... Da, 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 15k. 20k was the dino. So we can get the Paint Bay. I'm not going to rush to do it. I'll wait until I need to. But... Take the engine out of this and put it in my Camaro. Ooh, good idea. And then we'll just leave this sitting in a parking lot out there somewhere. That way, we never have to finish the job, but I get an engine almost free. <laughs> Sounds awful. Oh, yeah. A few cans of spray primer and call it a day. <laughs> you want the compression tester? Oh, yeah. Head first in the engine bay. Absolutely. No trouble at all. I mean, we can even check the tire pressure in the engine bay. It's impressive. I'm going to send this over to the test path because we haven't used it yet. <laughs> Do it and then call his dad. <laughs> I think it's not her dad. It could be. All right. Off to the test path with this thing. There's no oil in the engine. You can't perform this action. Um, if I put oil in this thing, is it going to do what I need it to do? Please tell me yes. I think the oil costs much money. Oh, I just overflowed it. It said there's no oil in the engine. What? Don't even. <laughs> you stupid game. Okay, so that rules out the test path. There's no oil pan? Oh no, really? Did I just dump boil all over the ground? It didn't give me a spill cost, did it? It'd be really funny if there wasn't one. I just dumped it all over the ground. No, there's no oil pan. It's there. I'm the drainer, though. Call the dad like your cop saying the car was found such and such. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seems your car was stolen. We've recovered it for you. I just don't even know what to think of the hood of this thing. Because it's not even a part they're asking me to fix. <laughs> Seems wrong. I need to inspect. I gotta find out what's, what the deal is with this. Watch as the oil fills up the bay on the test path. There's an oil pan! It's not like I dumped it straight through under the ground. I just let it overflow under the ground. 
this game worth buying when it comes out? If you like relaxing games and you're and you're interested in simulation style games, then then I would say yes. If those types of things don't interest you, then I would say no. Like if you if if you need like something like Call of Duty, for example, to be entertained, um, then this probably isn't going to do it for you. But it is a good game, and the the price of it is really reasonable for the amount of gameplay you get out of it. Though again, in uh, in full disclosure, I did get a copy of the game from the the uh, the publisher of the game for free, um, so I may be biased. But um, I've played CMS 2018 a lot; it was well worth it. Um, and so far, I like the uh, the changes they made in 2021. So I would say yes from my own perspective. They managed to nuke the tire back here somehow, too. Ran over a porcupine? Yeah. <laughs> to say the game's worth the price you paid for it, eh? Absolutely. I paid $0 for it, and it is 100% worth that price. <laughs> it's also worth more money than that. At least I think so. I often equate things to what I would normally spend to go see a movie. So, on that measure... It makes games so much more reasonable. <laughs> I have trouble with the sixty to eighty dollar games, but uh, something like this is like a twenty five dollar game. I would spend that easy at the movies and get like two hours of entertainment. Okay, well, I don't know if we've identified anything more. Uh oh, we did find a bunch of stuff. Okay, so there's still parts not discovered, which we'll probably find when we start ripping this thing apart, because uh, we're going to have to, since the engine doesn't start. What have we here? Is there a starter on this thing? Yep, that's a good start. Oil filter, race tire, we got suspension stuff. Eh, maybe it's not engine related. Although the engine wouldn't start, so there's got to be something going on there. Yeah, must have hit something in the, the passenger wheel. Maybe. Check the gearbox. Everything up here seems all right. Funny, for, this engine looks great considering the condition of the outside of the car. I mean, the ignition coils are all in good shape. God, I don't, I'm reluctant to tear into the engine because it's just... It looks like it's in decent shape, but it won't start, so there's got to be something wrong. I check the fuel pump. Uh, let's check back here. Yep, fuel pump's at sixty-six percent, so it's fine. I mean, obviously, there's lots of suspension stuff. Let's start on the suspension. We'll get we'll get started on that. Check the air filter. Look at this. They nuked the rim on this thing. Oops, wrong one. Not even just the, the tires toast. They just obliterated the rim. Check the battery. Uh, I did check. I mean, the starter looked okay, but um, those pads needed too. I guess I shouldn't add them to the shopping list until I see what I can fix, but no. Oh. 7% drive axle. Man, they really did a number on this. The funny thing in this game is they represent all damage to the to parts and stuff as rust. So it's not necessarily that it's rusted. If it, it's like if they had crashed the car, for example, and damaged it, the game would display it as rust. Because it's just like a low percentage of the condition possible of the vehicle. Rear suspension are fourteen percent. Man, they did they really did a number on this thing.
slid the car into one of the Batman tankers of acid. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> it just like immediately corroded the outside of the car and uh, also did some damage to some of the mechanical components. Oops, what's going on here? Yeah, bushing out of there. 12% bushing, yeah. Sounds about right. Check the trunk for the dead body they hit. <laughs> Maybe there's some venison back there. Okay, that's all ripped out. Uh, this side has some rusted bolts or whatever, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, sometimes zooming with the camera is a little funky. It seems like all the suspension damage is to that one side on the back. Everything up here looks okay. All right, let's see what we can fix. The bushings never make it. <laughs> Poor bushings. Repairing parts I don't even have to right now. Okay, so I couldn't fix anything that I actually needed to. Good. Perfect. <laughs> uh, let's set up a shopping list. Uh, bushings. Okay, it's a good chunk of stuff already. Good lord. Good caliper. I only need one of those. Do I need two brake pads? I can't remember the front wheel whether I took off. No, can't be that. Rear axle knuckle housing, yes, please. Uh, suspension arm. Rubber bushings. I don't remember how many I need, so we can just get a few. Actually, I might need a bunch. That's like a lot of like suspension arms and stuff. Put your tongue on the battery. That's the best way to test it. <laughs> if we don't get electrocuted, it's good. I mean, if you do get electrocuted, it's good. Bum, bum, bum. How do I feel like I want a couple of things that I didn't mean to? Clear it all. After a pretty long tongue to reach both terminals of the battery. Challenge accepted. Oh. What? Not by the rear shock observer? All right. Uh, rear shock observer B. Oh, God. I just bought the wrong one. Wasted credits. The one bushing wasn't new, but that's it should be okay, I think. Find out soon enough, I guess. Attach the jumper cables to it, then clamp. Oh man, your tongue. Just clamp it right on there. Rear drive axle. How did I not buy that? Um, rear drive. Oh, shoot. Is it the solid one? Nope, it's just called rear drive axle. There it is. Hmm. 
in the U.S. and get a chance to be part of the jury focus group, do it. It's an enlightening experience. Uh, that does not sound entertaining to me. Not in the slightest. <laughs> what condition do I need to repair this thing to? Am I putting bushings in that are going to cause a problem for me? I should probably check this. 71%. Uh, well, shoot. Okay, I need more bushings, apparently. Oh, it's the small ones. Why? Bushings were 69? 69 credits for bushings? That's funny. Rear suspension arm, and then we'll need a bushing in that too. I think I can see really well. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> I have a lot of bushings now. <laughs> That's okay, because in this game you go through a bajillion of them. Okay, am I missing anything here? I think I just gotta put the... Oh, I gotta deal with that rim. Uh, Let's get that pulled apart. Oh, 69%. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go to get like 20 bushings. Yeah, I can uh, just like a never ending supply of them. Carson's definitely a game that you can just relax to for an hour or two once you're max level and just tearing apart barn and run of it. Yeah. I spent a lot of time, uh, well, probably most of the most of my time in, in 2018 with just um Um finding finding cars in the junkyard and then rebuilding them. I think that's where the, the bulk of my time in that game went. Uh where is the Room I just pulled apart. All right, so let me need uh, that on the shopping list and that. Let's go to Rims. Hello, Rims World. Uh, Rim 18A, 18 inch, ET0. My part. And then for the tire, we need 235, 35 R18s. Oh, I got in the wrong shop. All right, what did I say it was? 235, 35 R18. There we go. Okay, so they can spark for cars to run out. Yeah, and they have an, an auction in this now, too. So, the I found like the, um, I don't know. I found the auction in 2018 didn't really work very well. It was just kind of a weird, funky mechanism, and the cars were never really... You know, there wasn't, like, beat-up cars or anything. But now there's a there's a junk auction you can go to where you can get cars at, like, a junker. Which is kind of neat. So it's, like, instead of just, like, wandering around in the junkyard hoping to find it, uh, you get a, a selection of more cars that are available on the auction, and then, of course, you have to go through the bidding process and stuff. Um, we're not quite high enough level to do that yet, but... When we are, that'll be an interesting way to get cars to rebuild, too. Seems like it might be the most economical way to get them. Fifth car in the game so far? Uh, I don't know. We haven't done that many, to be honest. <laughs> Why is the battery in the back of the car? Never noticed that before. I can't even go back there to click on it. I want to see what condition it's in. Oh, 66%. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Oil filter. Rear shock absorber cap and rear spring. Oh, I didn't do those yet. Why are we here? Can't even see where they're supposed to go here. The heck. I'm missing something back here. What did I not put back together? It's not even letting me see the rear shock absorbers. 
Oh, because I got to raise the car up to... There's another arm in the back behind the hub. Is that what I'm missing? That would explain it. What the heck is that thing? Oh, it's because I didn't put the small bushing in. Now the arm will go in. Okay. That's better. Now it just makes so much more sense. Okay, so oil filter. We got all those parts identified, so that's good. Um, body parts we have to deal with. Change the oil. Alright. And then spray paint it. And then some fluid stuff, but that's okay. We can deal with that. I still love that they want me to paint it, but they don't want me to fix the door or the hood or anything. They don't want me to deal with the glass that just looks like hell. <laughs> like, it's kind of weird. Um, did I change the oil filter? I don't remember if I did. I think I pulled it off. I don't remember if I put one back on, though. Nope, sure didn't. I think I checked before I poured oil into it. And it's not even on my shopping list. Of course not. Now it is. Okay, oil filter's good. Fresh paint over top of all that rust will look great. Oh yeah, nothing says quality like blistered paint. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so good. Do I have to change the fluid or just replace it? Change the oil, that's fine. Change coolant, refill windscreen, okay. Twenty eighteen. If you fix extra parts, you got a bonus. On customer cars, I don't know. Like this one, you get like XP for like inspecting parts and stuff, but fixing extra parts doesn't really seem to do much for you. Have to put uh, panels back on the engine I took off. Yes, I do. <laughs> Unless we want to just sell them and hope the, no the owner doesn't notice. That'd be the way to go. Okay, so that's good. All this is taken care of. Uh, da -da -da. The stuff are done. If we put some oil in here, then that'll take care of another job. We just got to deal with the body, pretty much. Okay, so what body work do they want done here? Front bumper, left fender, right fender. So the stuff I already have off the car. I couldn't fix them, so we're going to have to buy them. And that's going to require shopping lists. So right headlight, rear bumper, fender, bumper, fender. And then we can put their license plate back on, fortunately. There's my body shop. Wrong one. What? The filter doesn't work in here. What's up with that? That's super weird. That's the fenders, but that's it? Really? Alright. So, right headlight. Uh, left headlight. Right headlight. Buy that. Rear bumper. Left front fender. Right front fender. Mark one front bumper. Alright, I think we're good.
I wonder what it's going to look like when I paint this thing, because it's just, it's covered in rust. Nope. Okay, we're, uh, oh no, they're different bumpers. Are you kidding me? The bumpers aren't even an option in here. It's the performance ones, huh? Car shop interior, license plate, custom gearbox, vehicle add-on shop. Oh my god, look, we can put police lights on stuff. Didn't even notice that. Uh, Body tuning shop? Oh, okay, here we go. Front bumper B, rear bumper B, uh, right headlight B. There we go. Oops, wrong button. All right, rear bumper B. I didn't even notice they had them like tucked away in like their own separate section there. That explains why the search wasn't working. <laughs> okay, headlight B. Get our license plate back on here. Okay, now they're good. These are all done. That's all done. Oil change is done. Foods are done. So we need to spray it. Time to unlock the spray factory. Give me that paint bay. Bing! Okay, off to the paint bay. Yeah, I got the plate on there. We're good. Okay. Welcome to the paint shop. Paint the car. Uh, Current color or factory color? How are they not going to notice that the car is a completely different color? Let me reread this thing. <laughs> Spray it the factory color. Hey, I crashed my dad's car. Please fix it all so he doesn't notice. Oh, by the way, paint it a completely different color. Okay. <laughs> okay, if you say so. No, let's chrome it out. All right, factory color it is. Thousand credits to paint it. This better be right. It's something. Look at all that wonderful rust. <laughs> Looks like the plate needs to be replaced. Uh, if they don't ask for it, though, I don't need to do it. All right, that was the right color. Apparently, that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> This story or the story order just doesn't make sense. Uh, I think we got everything back in it though. We can just cash this in for some sweet credits. Ka-ching! Done. Another order out of the way. That I don't that I don't get that one. That that was confusing to me. Why paint it a totally different color? I don't understand. Ah. Well, anyway. All right, it's, uh, it is after midnight my time. I gotta get up for work in the morning, so I am gonna call it a wrap for tonight, but thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. I think we made some good progress. We got to, uh, got to completely rebuild a car tonight and even sell it for a decent profit. I have cash, and we've got almost everything unlocked, so that's a plus, which means we can focus on doing more cars. I'm gonna try to earn a little bit more money um, so we can do a full rebuild on that car, the Camaro we already grabbed, and then, uh, that'll probably get me up to level 15 as well, so we can start looking at what the auctions are like, because we just hit level 14. Uh, thank you so much for the super chats this evening. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, click on the subscribe button. Come back and hang out with us again. Uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, again, comes out on PC tomorrow. That's August 11th. I guess that's technically today, if you're in Eastern Time Zone or farther to the right. Uh, console comes out on, uh, August 12th. Thanks again, everyone. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.